All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the night stream. Pity Live got another show for you guys. Uh, second live stream of the day. Um, if you missed the first live stream, Player Essence Cross Nintendo is live on the channel, so you can always check it out this weekend. Or you can check it out whenever you feel like checking it out. So yeah, that is up on the channel. So if you guys want to check out that, that's cool. So what is up to everybody? OJ here. Welcome back to another PE Live. Uh, today we're just going to be chilling tonight. Uh, we do have another live stream later tonight with the secret mystery game. I see VC, you're too damn anxious, dude. Just calm down. The mystery game will be revealed at some point. Uh, I will reveal the mystery game later. You will see the title of the mystery game. So don't worry. It's coming. Uh, so tonight we got a good live stream for you guys. So just relax, sit back, relax, and enjoy the stream. And of course, we'll have questions. Uh, we'll have random Q&A today. So I will be answering questions, depending. Um, and uh, we will be going over a couple different things that I did not cover in like a PE news video or anything like that. So first and foremost, how's everybody doing tonight? Hopefully you guys are doing well on this uh, April. It's already getting to be warm here where I'm at. So it's already getting kind of warm. Uh, I'm going to start wearing tank tops and more white t-shirts because it's already getting warm. So I'm looking forward to, I don't know if I'm looking forward to the warm weather, but I guess it's a nice change from the super cold weather, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the shout outs here, guys. Ninja News, uh, pretty much, like I said, we got a ton of content on the channel. In the past two days, I think we've released, we've had at least five live streams and yeah, at least five live streams and at least... Uh, five edited four to five edited videos so there's plenty of content to watch on the channel there's like so much content to watch you guys go out there and watch it when you get the opportunity um so yeah uh, so yeah ninja news is go watch all the content on the channel um all right so in terms of the shout outs so if you want me to say hi to you in the chat feel free but what i need you guys to do before we get started make sure you hit that like button and share the stream if you can let's get some more ninja into the village here we are streaming kind of late so uh, it's understandable understandable we'll have people filing as we go along um, all right, so let me go ahead and say hi to everybody here in the chat. So what's up, VC? Uh, what's up, Streamlabs? Isaiah, I have no idea what you're talking about, Isaiah Robinson, but shout outs, man, my man. Um, Bowsette, what's good? Um, Rex, what's up? Alexis Garcia, what's good? Good to see you here. Thank Meme Center, good to see you here as well. Neil Blitz the Prinny, what's good, man? Or Golden Oracle, what's up? Chupacabra, shout out to Leading JL Chupacabra's here. Sharing on user. Neil Blitz the Prinny, once again. Jerry on XP, what's good, man? He says, complete, complete. Alexis, Mr. Clarence, um, what's good? Um, all right, Rex, what's good, Rex? Braxton, what's up, man? Braxton, good to see you here. Uh, we just started, yeah, we actually just started. We just started um, 13 minutes ago, but you know, we have a little bit of a 10 minute, about a 10 minute runoff, so we can, because YouTube is YouTube. Um, all right, so um, so good to see you here. Elite Ninja Andre Wine is here. Also, Hokage mode for this month so far. So good stuff. Thank you so much for the. Uh, support Andre Tyler Epic Alina Ninja Tyler Epic is here East KY Retro what's good man good to see you here Tyler Epic I'm doing good how are you KJ2399 is here as well what's up KJ um, Wound Up Penguin what's up super late but yeah um, you going to bed I, I thought man you're up you're up like I thought you'd already be asleep Wound Up Penguin but thanks for uh, uh, thanks your, thanks for coming out to the stream thank you um, let's see here Five Nights and Freddy's what's up man how you doing today good to see you here once again thank you for the support earlier Elite Ninja Alonzo Vines is here as well. What's up, Alonzo Vines? Good to see you here as well, man. Um, Kyler Peel. What's up, Kyler Peel? Shout-outs to the Twitch boys. Red Enigma 23. What's up, man? Mav Intensifies as well. Uh, Shout-outs. Uh, finished work a couple hours ago. Feels good. Yeah, man. Always feels good. Friday are the... If you don't work on Saturday or Sunday, Fridays are the best day ever. I remember Fridays. Fridays, it was like when I was a kid. Because, like, school was work back then, right? I was like, man, I got to go to school. I got to do all this. Man, when it was Friday, it was just like, bam, done with homework, done with all this. We're going to have pizza, maybe. We're going to play video games, watch TGIF. It was the greatest. I thought those times would never end, dude. I was like, oh, I'm just, this is just going to be my life forever. <laughs> oh, when I was a kid, because it felt like forever, right? Like when you're a kid, it felt like forever. Like second grade felt like forever to me. I don't know why it did, but it, I think second from first grade to second grade, it was just like a pretty mad difficulty spike in my opinion from first grade to second grade <laughs> the difficulty spike was a bit high in my opinion and then from second to third grade then again but my the schools that i went to were actually pretty tough like they were i mean they were tough on the kids when it comes to the curriculum and stuff like that so uh but anyway either way uh fridays are always good that's what i'm trying to say always good for fridays uh deadlock seven what's good joe p's here as well what's up joe p how you doing today 
How you doing today? Um, heading to bed now already? It's only 10.49, dude. That's not even that late. It's Friday night. But hey, if you gotta go to sleep, gotta go to sleep. Um, good to see you here. Thanks for coming out to the stream at least for a little bit. Um, let's see here. Uh, do we have a Buck Bumble special Friday? No, we don't actually, Nyko. No, there is no Buck Bumble special Friday. We're gonna be playing a mystery game after tonight, um, which should be fun. Um, let's see here. You have to be up at 6, 6 a.m. All right, well, get some sleep then. Get some sleep so you can be up at 6 a.m. All right. Any other anybody else that we missed? I think I pretty much got everybody that's here in the chat at least. No other persona. What's up, man? How you doing today? Good to see you here. Um, let me see if I let me scroll back up see if I missed anybody. Galaxy B is here as well. What's up, Galaxy B? Good to see you here. Bowsette, I'm pretty sure I got you, but I'll say it again. What's up, Bowsette? How you doing? Um, all right. Yo, I missed you. Part where where were you at, party man? I don't see you at all. That. that I swear I did not see you right until this point. I'm looking through. I'm honestly like focusing on looking through it. And I don't see. You. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay, just kidding. Uh, okay, you just got here. All right, I was about to say. I was like, what the hell, dude? Uh, shout out to the Renengon user, Party Man. Good to see you here. Always good to see those nice purple Renengons in the chat. So thank you. Um, good to see you here. Artist Akira as well. Renengon user. Another Renengon user. Shout out. It's back to back. So I wasn't expecting another live stream. Yeah, we're going to start doing two. We've been doing two live streams a day because I told you guys that crazy freaking support that we had last week. I was like, oh, I'm really going to turn it up, man. I'm going to turn it up. So we're going to start doing more streams. Um, so today would be, we're actually going to have three live streams today because we have a live stream afterwards. After t tonight's live stream, we have a live stream of a secret mystery game. It's going to be super late for some of you guys, but if you don't have to be somewhere in the morning, uh, it's going to be a mystery switch game. Mystery switch game that I probably would never play normally, but I was like, you know what, what the hell? I'm already going to be at this place to pick up some games. I might as well just pick this one up too. So, uh, TKR Vids. What's up, man? Good to see you here as well. What's up? Good to see you here. Um, all right. I think I pretty much got everybody. I think we should be good. All right. So, we can go ahead and start off with the content here, guys. Mario and Zelda. Labo. We didn't really talk about this outside of a little bit on the podcast, PE podcast. A little bit on my PE live. But I was like, oh, we're not talking about that. We'll talk about it later. Um, I did have a video on it, a short video, five minutes, because, I mean, I tried to talk about it more, but I had to even reach to get that video to five minutes. It was going to be more like two minutes, um, but I had to reach to even get it to five minutes. Otherwise, sometimes it wouldn't even show up in you guys' feeds if the video isn't even long enough. Um, so I got it to five minutes to talk about it. And to be honest, I'm not really sold, like super sold on it. I mean, I'm going to pick it up because I'm a Nintendo content creator. It's a free update. I'm probably going to pick it up just so I can see it. Um, but I'm not excited. I'm like, oh yeah, Labo, like VR Labo. I'm not like, because like I'm not, I'm just not big with strapping something to your head. And I know we, we spoke about it a little, like I said, a little bit before on Players Since Cross Nintendo, but it's just something that I kind of wanted to get more of you guys' opinions on. I was just joking around the whole time. For those who missed it, I strapped, I took my headband here and I, I took my headband and I wrapped it around my head and then I put my switch underneath it and was just like that and like reading off stuff. So I was being more of just like joking around and everything. But um, uh, if you guys want to know my honest thoughts, um, it's cool that they're adding functionality to to Labo, like to be like with regular games. I think that that's gonna really going to be more of a killer app. Um, I think somebody told me that Labo is number one on the Amazon bestsellers. Let me double check the Labo VR for video games. Somebody told, told that to me, but I couldn't confirm it. And yeah, now that I'm looking at it right now, it's actually not. The Genesis Mini is number four. Is the best is the best gaming um, Borderlands on the PC is after that Borderlands yeah Nintendo whoever told me that. that's why I didn't okay Nintendo Labo is number nineteen Nintendo VR Labo is number nineteen because it's it's only forty bucks so I mean that's not bad I guess for that I mean that's cheaper and it's more interesting with the, with these free updates to these other games it's more interesting than like the eighty nine ninety nine robot kit and all that you know I'm surprised Nintendo is charging only this for, for to be honest i'm surprised that they're only charging this price because yeah the other ones were more expensive um the bigger labo kit which has all of them is 79.99 but if you want just like the toycon 4 the vr starter set that's just that's 40 bucks so i'll probably pick that up it's it's super cheap so i'll probably pick that up or i'll probably get a re actually to be honest i think nintendo will probably send me like a review thing for it so there you go um so it's number 19 on the list it's just underneath yoshi it's just underneath Yoshi. Well, number 19, hold up. Let me see here. To be honest, for actual games, not systems, but games itself, 
we're not counting the Genesis Mini thingy. So Borderlands on PC is number one game of the year edition download because of the update, right? Um, so you get that for that's seven dollars and fifty cents. So I get why that's number one. Number two is Borderlands three. Number three is Smash Brothers Ultimate. Number four is Yoshi's Craft the World, and then number five is Labo Toycon Four VR Starter Set, and then number six is Labo Toycon uh, Number Four VR Kit for the Switch, and that's actually above. Oh, actually no, that's the, just the special edition. But anyway, but either way, it's it's doing good. It's it's doing it's doing okay on Amazon so far. I'm still waiting for this Amazing Spider-Man to be like 20 bucks. When Amazing, when Amazing, when Amazing Spider-Man is 20 bucks, I'm gonna pick it up and then probably never play it or play it once and never, then never pick it up again. So, I can't wait for that. Um, I got a couple other games that I picked up um, today when I was at the store for super cheap, and I literally picked up this game right here because these two chicks on the cover look cool. It just look the cover looks good. I love the font. Um, I like the fact that it says 4K HDR Xbox One X enhanced on it. The cover just looks cool. I'll be honest. And that's the reason, that's the main reason why I bought this game. The cover looks cool. Um, it was $15 and I think it's worth it for the artwork. I really appreciate the artwork and uh, the two characters on there. It's just something different. You don't really see two sisters on the, on the front of a box. So at least I think that they're sisters. I'm not, they look like sisters. They could be Hispanic, but either way, you don't really see this very often. The box looked good. So I bought it. And then another one that I bought was Shadow of War. Um, once again, it looks really clean with the font at the top. Uh, the box art is really cool looking. Um, I bought this one not because I'm interested in playing the game, because I'm not, actually. But I just think that it looks cool, and it's a good game from what I heard. So, therefore, I decided to pick it up. It was $7, to be exact. So, uh, I'm, I'm big on collecting. Will these go out of the plastic wrap? Probably. Maybe this one. I'm not really sure. I'll probably install it just to try to force myself to play it at some point. But I don't know if I'll even play either or even enjoy it. I probably won't even enjoy either one of these games. But the box arts look good enough. And they're a good price. And I like collecting games. So, yeah, they're sisters. Okay. There you go. Oh, they're sis sisters. Or are they actually sisters? <laughs> <laughs> Which one party bad? <laughs> you might enjoy Shadow of War. I probably won't enjoy Shadow of War. Uh, Dudlock7 says, is Zelda just um, one just for the looking around sections? I wonder. The clips they showed were the combat too. Looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be combat too. It looks like it's going to be like you can actually toggle the mode to where it's going to be combat as well. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Joe P, we just, you just got here, my man. You're good. You just, I mean, we just, oh, we just started. We just started. Uh, Matthew, Matthew Campos with, um, with a nice donation of $2, making you, Matthew, the top stream ninja for the night. So congratulations on that one. First donation as well. Extra, uh, brownie points for that one. Kudos on that one for the first donation of the night. And once again, top stream ninja, Matthew C with the two. Thank you so much, man. Let me read off your comment. Thank you for the donation, homie. He says, um, have you played any of the uh, Yakuza games? Yeah, I actually have. I don't like Yakuza games at all. Uh, both. Okay, they're both they're sisters and they're actually sisters. Okay, cool, cool. They look like they look. This is what happens. This would be like. <laughs> this should have been this. This is like the alternate or the finally we get the video game version of the of the show Sister Sister. You guys ever remember that show? This is definitely the video game things went to hell version of Sister Sister back in the day. So I finally got because I actually really like that show. So um, <laughs> we finally got the video game the video game form of Sister Sister back in the day. There we go, man. Shout outs, man. Um, all right. So let's see. Breath of the Wild is the full thing. Okay. Yeah. The Breath of the Wild, the full thing. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but shout outs to T and Tamara. Oh, man. I had a crush on them when I was a kid. Man, I used to just watch that show like. <laughs> I used to watch that show like. <laughs> they're, a, they're a little bit older than me, though, age wise. Um, Let's see here. The T and tomorrow in the apartment. Pretty much. <laughs> it looks like them. If they had cornrows, they I don't know. If they, it, it looks like T and tomorrow in the apocalypse. I'm telling you, it's a sister sister game we, that we always that we always like wanted, but we never got. So there you go. Shout out to the Ubisoft. Um Deadlock7 says, so maybe Zelda VR, you can play with Joy-Cons not on your head. Yeah, I don't think you have to. It's optional that you put those Joy-Cons on your head. Like, you don't have to. Like, you can just take them out and just play with your hands right there. The only thing was, is like, you, you hold it up to your head. So, you'd have to have some type of custom strap in order to do that. That's the only thing. And I'm guessing that Nintendo, I mean, there there needs to be something. There needs to be something, in my opinion, that um that, that they do for that. Because I you can't. 
Are you really going to hold up Zelda to your head and play it for, like, any amount of time? I mean, I wouldn't. So, yeah, uh, I'm not getting VR. I, I like. Uh, I feel like it hurt my eyes. Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting it just because. I'm just getting it just because, like, I, I create content, you know? Um, just like I'm buying this stuff just because, you know? I create content, and it looks cool in the background. Eventually, I'm going to have, like, a... Um, and I'll get that donation in just a bit. But uh, eventually, I'm going to have, like, I'm going to rebottle the room eventually. I'm saving up. Almost there. Um, and uh, I'm going to have all these cool games and cool merch. And I'm going to have better. I'm going to have a hardwood ground. Like, I'm going to make the room look nice probably by the end of the year. I just got some other stuff that I got to take care of first. Um, but, yeah, when I do, all these games that I'm buying and that are just, like, sitting back there all stacked there are going to look dope. Like, all, like, in my new, like, layout. So, um, all right. Shout out to Arn with the $2.99 $2 donation through Super Chat. And he says, can't stay long. So, here's some support. Thank you so much, Arn. Appreciate that. Does make you the top stream ninja for the night, so I do appreciate the support, homie. Um, all right, so a, all right, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I really do. Um, let's see here. Uh, best ways to save save is to invest. The best way to save is to invest. That doesn't even make sense. Um, the best way to save is to save. Um, if you invest and your investment goes wrong, then you didn't really save anything. Then, um, you mean the best way to potentially make more money? Like maybe hit it big? Then yeah, invest. But the best way to save is to save. <laughs> That's the best way to save is to save. Trust me, um, I save quite a bit. I'm pretty. I can be pretty frugal at times. I save a lot, and trust me, like. Investing can be very, very risky. So saving is the best way to save, is to just simply save. Um, Katana Riku says, you should consider uh, colored lighting and dimmable lighting. It would be dope for atmosphere. Absolutely. Those are all things that I'm going to be putting into the room. Dimmable lighting, like uh, different types of stuff. So yeah, I, I just, obviously I need, you know, got to save up for it because it's going to be expensive, kind of, you know. So, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Roger, Jazzy, Roger did grow up to be a very good looking dude. Definitely good looking dude. Well, he was already good looking back then. He was just he he was just annoying as hell, you know. But he was he's always been a good. I mean, he's always been a good looking dude. Um, let's see here. Uh, sorry, but you're wrong. I'm definitely not wrong. I'm definitely not wrong because when you save, your money is saved no matter what. You put away some money, it's saved. Um, with investing, you could lose money. So what happens when your investment goes wrong? There's nothing. Your, your saving never goes wrong. When you put away this X amount of money or Y amount of money, that never goes away. It's right there for you. Heck, you can even earn interest on it. When you invest, you could lose. You know what I'm saying? You could lose all of it, you know? So um, so to me, in my opinion, at least, uh, saving is far more safe and easier to do than investing, um, you know, than investing at this point. At least that's for me. Now, some people can invest and they make a lot of money and then you can save that money, but that's not a viable option for everybody. It might be a viable option for you, but for most people, most people don't invest. The large majority of people in this world don't invest. Whenever they save something, they save up their money normally. They don't invest and say, well, I'm going to save after I invest. Most people don't do that. Um, so yeah. Um, It's a game of risk, and it's a game of risk that most people um, don't play. When you want to save, you save. But I'm not going to sit here and go into this, guys, because it's stupid. <laughs> because it's dumb. Everybody knows the best way to save money is to save. Not into like The best way to potentially make more money is to invest. The best way to save money is to save, plain and simple. I mean, there's not it, – it's, it's simple. It's, there's not anything outside of that. So um, moving on. Uh, let's see here. Well, see, it's easier to invest than it is to stop my receiving hair. <laughs> Bruh. Talk about, man, I know. Bruh. Bruh. I'm right with you there. Well, all you got to do, really, with the hairline, bro, is you just got to, um, you just got, I think it's like certain foods you eat or something. I'm not really sure. But mine was actually even worse than it is right now. And like last year, it was worse. So, so yeah, man, I don't know what it is. I think really you just got to, I think stress also is what kills that hairline. You know what I'm saying? Like. I think stress is it. So try to reduce, try to re, try to reduce the stress. You know what I'm saying? Try to reduce the stress, and I think your hairline will stay intact at least for the time being. Um, let's see here. Uh, nah, we ain't shoot. No, I didn't shoot no shots at spawn. What the hell? What the hell? 
I shot, shot, shot at myself. <laughs> I said, my hairline was even worse. I said, it's gotten better, but it was worse last year. My whole right here, all this right here was bald right here. And I actually still got a bald spot in the back, but it's it's almost cleared up because I reduced my stress. But I, I didn't take any shots at Spawn. Um, Katana Riku says, LOL. Um, let's see here. All right, so... It's hard to save with the ever-growing vast switch library. Well, that's here's the thing about saving, guys, and this is this is a topic about video games. Here's the thing about saving. Here's what I've learned about saving. You really don't need a bunch of other stuff. One, you should be cooking, you should be buying and cooking most of your food. Like going out to eat should be a very should be a thing that doesn't happen more than times that you can count on your hand. You should be going out every month. You should be going out to eat less than the, than the number of fingers on your hand. That's my my first rule of thumb. If you can go out zero times, then that'd be great. But most of the time, I mean, you want to go get a meal or whatever the case is. But it should be most times it should be at least maybe only once a week, maybe even less than that. You know what I'm saying? So that's a way that you can save money right there. Go to the store, buy your food. That'll give you extra money for video games and other stuff. Frivolous things. A bunch of different clothing. Where you buy your clothing, I'm telling you, people don't realize that this stuff is expensive and it adds up. So you shouldn't be buying a bunch of frivolous clothing and going out there and spending on a bunch of like stuff. You should just buy what you need. Half the time, you don't need all these clothes that you're buying. You can just wear white t-shirts or you can just do something like that. You know, so just clothing is another where another area where you can just stop like spending so much. Shoes. Shoes do not need, you don't need to be spending over, I know people spend $150 to $200 on shoes every few months. That's ridiculous. You don't need to spend $150 to $200 on shoes every few months. I'm sorry. That's not the case. Unless you're like a runner. Like if you're a hardcore runner, I run a lot. I buy athletic shoes at least, new athletic shoes at least once a year. Maybe new athletic shoes. Maybe twice, sorry, twice a year. Six months. Every six months, I'll replace my athletic shoes. But that's different. That's that's health wise. That that's a health benefit, you know. Um, but normal shoes. We're talking like Jordans and all these other things. And you're not going out there and playing basketball in them, you know, to replace them. So people spend their money. So shoes, clothing, jewelry. Jewelry should just be something that you don't got to worry about at all. You shouldn't be buying a lot of jewelry at all. If you're a gamer, unless you've got the bread for it, you shouldn't really be buying a lot of jewelry. Um, so stuff like that. I used to buy jewelry. I used to buy a lot of shoes. I used to buy a lot of clothes. I used to buy all that stuff. I removed all of that stuff and it's opened up some stuff to where I can save. So, yeah. Um, don't forget buying liquor. Yeah, li liquor. Liquor is definitely something that you should not be spending your money on a lot. Definitely not be spending your money. Liquor is expensive at the end of the day. Um, it's expect Well, it can be very expensive depending on what liquor you're buying. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, drugs, that, that just goes without saying. Like certain drugs, liquor, alcohol, that type of stuff you don't need. Alcohol poisons your body, first of all. You don't need to drink alcohol at all. It poisons your body. It weakens your liver. You're going to end up in a, using a bedpan when you're older if you drink a lot of liquor all the day. Like, it's, it's just, just going to happen. You're going to have liver failure. Something's going to happen to you. Don't drink liquor, guys. Don't drink it. Um, and if you do drink it, do very often. I might drink alcohol once a year, you know, once a year I might drink alcohol and I'm not talking about red wine or anything like that health. Like I'm not talking about that because that's different. There's some health benefits for that. Um, I'm talking about like, just straight liquor, hard liquor, stuff like that. You don't need to be drinking that stuff. Stuff's disgusting. So I'm um, not telling you guys what to do. I'm not saying that you guys have to do. It. I'm just saying like to save money for video games. So if you want to buy more video games or you just want to save for a rainy day, you know. Um, so, yeah um yeah that's drugs weed is drugs so there's no need you don't you don't need that i mean it's a i know people like to do that but you don't need it you know so that yeah, weed is a form of a drug um um let's see here you and spawn have the same styles uh i think we have the same yeah me and spawn have a few of the same shirts this um this one because uh back a while ago i think a couple years ago or year or a year or so ago um i think it was like loot crate or whatever was giving away like certain loot boxes to a lot of youtubers and we all got the same shirts so me john and like a few other youtubers we all have the same like three shirts like this shirt the brown shirt with some like japanese stuff on there and like a rocket ship and then there's like one more shirt and then like the the powder blue shirt space invader shirt we both have all three of those shirts so that's why you've seen me and john 
wear those three shirts. Well, John hasn't worn the brown one because I don't think he looks good in brown. So, so I think that's why he hasn't worn it. But he's worn the powder blue shirt in like Newswave or whatever and other stuff, and also on the Spawncast. And he's worn this shirt before. So, my daughter loves this shirt, so I like it too. Um, David Drayton says, "Cook your own food. Avoid debt. Um, avoid debt, and use your bank's app to transfer a set amount of your savings account automatically. Practice discipline. Write down your financial goals. Live with your means. Exactly. W- live within your means. Exactly. And I sell liquor, and I'm saying this. Well, the thing about selling liquor is that there's nothing wrong with that. Selling. I mean, there's nothing wrong with buying some liquor. You know what I'm saying? Like it's people that overindulge. That's the problem. There's never wrong. There's nothing wrong with buying it. You want to buy some liquor? That's fine. You go buy some liquor. There's people who are constantly buying it. If you're spending you know, 30, 40, 50 dollars on liquor each month, you know, that, that might might be a little bit too much. Might be a little bit too much. Might want to calm down on that, you know? Um so yeah. Um so yeah, S- Cyrix says, I don't know if I said that right uh, said that right. Uh, did you read did you already cover the friends of Ringo Ishikawa? Yeah, I, I heard about that, but I have not like I haven't I haven't read too much on it or like what what it's about or anything like that. So, um, I've heard people saying some good things about it. I've heard some people saying some good things about it. I need to probably check it out. I need to check it out. Uh, Fifty dollar liquor bottles. Yeah, that's 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 expensive, man. That's expensive. Bottle of Henny is fifty. Yeah, it's expensive. I'm not I'm not drinking any Henny, man. I'm think I'm going to. <laughs> no Henny for me. <laughs> too expensive. Not at not in my budget. Not in my budget because. That 50 of Henny, I really want some like green and yellow Joy-Cons. So that 50 that would have went to Henny could have went to, I add a little bit more and I can get some green and yellow neon Joy-Cons. And I think those are cool. I just, that's what I've been saving for too. But I've been saving for other things as well. Um, all right. So let's see here. Um, I save money by not paying for Xbox Live or Xbox Online. Well, I mean, like Xbox Online, that's something that, that's an entertainment bill, right? So if... If you feel like you need to play your games online, like I pay for Nintendo Switch online, you know, um, or at least I paid for it, but I used coins, so I got it for like $12 or something like that. And then again, I, I got another 12 months for with my Amazon Prime, so I guess I'm kind of paying for it, right? But I need Amazon Prime because I always buy certain like equipment and products and I need, I like two-day, well, I don't need it, but two-day shipping's good. Um, so, so yeah, yeah. I mean, it just depends. I mean, I don't pay for Xbox live. I don't pay for PSN. They don't have any games that, that are worth playing to me online with other people. And if there is, I can always just buy stuff on PC because I still have a PC that, that can play everything. Um, at least in 1080p 60 frames per second in most games, or at the minimum, you know, like 900p, uh, for like the, the most intense games, but most games that I've even new games today, I can play those at 1080p 60 frames per second on my PC, and my PC's from 2015, my PC's old, but, you know, it's not a bad PC, um, but, uh, yeah, either way, man, um, it's one of those things to where, yeah, I, I don't really feel like spending 60 bucks on Xbox Live or PSN, like, 60 bucks, like, it's $120 a year just for PSN and Xbox Live, I'm good, I think I can save that 100 I'll, I'll keep it, um, it's, there's nothing worth me playing on there, and I'm working too much, I don't have time to be sitting there and playing games online, like, all day, you know, um, but yeah, but yeah, but then again, for p- other people, that's entertainment, you know, they might, that's a good, it's a good investment for them, right? Um, so yeah, um, uh, Big S, tell me more about this, uh, the Friends of Ringo Ishikawa. Tell me more about this game. Is it any good? What, what's, what's so good about it? Why are people talking about this game so much? Um, I need to, make, I need to make, get new Joy-Cons tomorrow. My current Joy-Cons have been drifting the analog stick. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, new SD card. What Joy Cons would I rec- rec- recommend? I I don't know. That's something that you talk to John from Spawn Wave about in terms of Joy Cons. Um, the new models probably shouldn't have any drifting problems. So anything that's like the, if you buy anything new, I think you should be okay. Um, but yeah, uh, Uber Eats is convenient, but it can kill your wallet if overused. Yeah, because there's the delivery fees, and then you know you'd be kind of a jerk if you didn't tip as well. Um, but I've used I used Uber Eats a couple of times, but back when I was actually like doing like a lot of dating, like you know on like Tinder and stuff, I we would use Uber Eats sometimes. Like if we're just like hanging out and get a whatever, but that that's a different that, that expense is different. That's just every now and then, you know, for a date. Um, it's like River City Ransom mixed with Yakuza. Okay, cool, 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 nice, nice. Shout outs to all the ninja watching tonight. I think we have over 120 people here. 
So shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me tonight. We have a random Q&A, kind of have a ch little bit of a chill stream, a little bit of a chill stream, multiple different topics, anything that's in the title, you guys can talk about and more because there's nothing anything that I really care about too much. Um, but we're kind of going over everything. We already recap stuff on Players Cross Cross Nintendo. That's kind of what the Players Cross Cross Nintendo is, is the recap of the news. Uh, the best news for the week, Nintendo news. Uh, this is kind of just, you guys can just bring up stuff and we'll just chat. We'll talk about different things. Uh, but we will get a, we will get into all of the different topics. We were discussing Labo VR. So if you have any top, if, any thoughts on Labo VR and like if you're excited for that, you can feel free to drop a comment and tag me at PlayerSense or hashtag PlayerSense and I'll do my best to read off you guys' comments. Um, let's see here. Um, no, um, Bubble Buster. Um, I did not say that. I did not say... Um, I did not say, I still can't believe you think investing is bad. I never said that. Please tell me where I said that. I never said that. Um, I said that, you said the best way to save is to invest. I said, no, that's not necessarily the case for everybody. I said the best way to save is to save. That's what I said, because investments can go wrong. So if you want to save, the best way to, to do that is to save. Um, some people don't have the money for an investment. So the best way to save is to save. Uh, but I never stated that investing is bad. So educate, how about you educate yourself on some listening comprehension just a little bit because I never, never said that. Um, all right. So moving on, let's see here. Pizza Wolf says just got here. What is the investigation thing? Sure. Let's talk about the investigation thing. So apparently Nintendo, Microsoft and Sony um um are having business practices investigated by the competition and markets authority the three companies have received letters requesting information about online gaming contracts game industry reports that the cma intends to examine whether the contract terms are fair how easy it is to cancel a pre-order or obtain a refund which in their cases it's you can't do it at all on microsoft and on Microsoft and Nintendo system, and the auto renewal policy is regarding things like uh, regular uh, reminders and default settings. Microsoft's might get a little bit of trouble in, in, on that one. Consumers can also reach out and share their experiences. At the time, the CMA hasn't decided if Nintendo has violated consumer protection law. However, if the practices are misleading or their terms are unfair, action could be taken. The CMA chief, I think it's Andrea Coselli, said uh, this in a statement, quote, rollover contracts are becoming more and more commonplace and it is essential that they work well for customers. Our investigation will look into whether the biggest online gaming companies are being fair when their customers are uh, when they automatically renew their contracts and whether people can easily cancel or get a refund. Should we have or should we, should we find that, that the firms aren't treating people fairly under consumer protection law? We are fully prepared to take action. Oh, man, them, them are some fighting words. Ooh, we are fully prepared to take action. But yeah, this is actually good because I think that it's time for Microsoft, Sony and Nintendo. Microsoft or Sony actually just implemented a policy with the refunds on digital pre-orders and stuff like that. But I think it's time for them to do like a refund policy on digital games and stuff like that now i've long said you probably like in my opinion you shouldn't be pre-ordering digital like you shouldn't be pre-ordering digital unless you're absolutely positively 100 percent sure that a you have the money to pay for it and nothing's going to come up and b you know you want this game it's digital you don't need to pre-order a digital game you need to pre-order physical games that are going to be limited or that you know are going to be like hard to get or you want to be able to have a faster experience when you go to the store or whatever the case is digital is digital it's an infinite number of digital there's not an infinite number of physical there's an infinite number of digital because it's it's it, it's it's digital you know it's on these huge servers that can hold kajillion gigabytes whatever the case is there's an infinite number so you shouldn't be pre-ordering unless you know for sure you want it however this is good for the consumer because sony just implemented a new policy about that so i feel that nintendo and microsoft should implement a return policy as well so yeah um that's my thoughts on that what are you guys' thoughts on this um, but shout out to Pizza Wolf for keeping us on track. Deadlock7 says, uh, the game looked like an updated but still pixel art River City Ransom, maybe with more RPG elements. I need to check that out then because me, me and my brother, 
We loved River City Ransom as kids. Like, we played River City Ransom all the time. Um, what other games should be... This man, this man, Golden Oracle, said, we should probably go over the investigation thing. And then, right after that, said, what other games could be compatible with Labo VR? Bruh, you want me to go over the investigation or you want me to talk about Labo VR? Can you make up your mind? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to talk more about Apple VR or you want me to go over the investigation thing, my man? You're all over the place. <laughs> Let's see. I'm impressed which does VR. Nice. Does it do VR? No, you don't have to apologize, Golden Oracle. I'm just, I just thought it was funny that you're like, you know, we should probably go over this, this thing. And, like, and then like two seconds later, you're like, nah, like, nah, let's talk about this. Labo. <laughs> it's like, it's like you didn't even finish your sentence. Like you guys know, like Street Fighter, the guy who's um, announcing. He's like, you went perfect. He like cuts off himself, dude. That's what Golden Oracle did. <laughs> but nah, you don't you don't gotta you don't you don't gotta uh you don't gotta apologize. I'm just I'm just messing around with you. But that dude that dude did cut himself on you went perfect. It's like why don't you just why don't you just finish saying you win, dude? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> Um Let's see, Big S says, please stream it. I mean I might stream it, I might not. I mean I'm not really sure. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to... I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm going to stream it. Because I might not. Um, I'd love to see Zelda 2. Zelda Link to the Past 2. Remade in the Square Enix. Uh, SE style HD 2D. Man, I'm not trying to have a bunch of Octopath clones. You know what would be dope? Like a Legend of Zelda Link to the Past with their own style. That would be dope. If they get their own unique style for Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Not copy somebody else. I think that would be dope. In my opinion. Um, I don't think Nintendo needs to copy Octopath. Um, I don't, I just don't want to see it. I just, I just don't want to see it. But I mean, that's what everybody says. Oh, new Chrono Trigger Octopath. Oh, a new Breath of Fire Octopath. Hey, oh, let's we'll just have a bunch of games that look like Octopath. I'm just like, do, do y'all want everything to look like Octopath? Like what happened to originality? What happened to having your own style? Why does everything got to look like Octopath? Like if it's a, a classic game, does it need to look like Octopath? I mean, I'm just not a fan of that. I just, uh, you know. Um, it should have its own style. They should do their own classic style. They should they should do their own thing. They shouldn't copy Square Enix. It's Nintendo. But don't get me don't get it twisted. If they did it, sure, I'll buy it. I buy any of these things that people are clamoring for 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 an HD two D. But I just I just really don't want a bunch of Octopath clones running around. Um, but that's just my thought my thoughts on it. Um, I think HD two D is patented, so they'd have to pay. They'd have to pay uh, Square Enix for it, or if anybody uses that exact same style or in that way, because I'm pretty, it's trademarked or something like that. So you'd have to, you'd have to really be trying to, you'd have to pay them, or you'd have to really be like, you'd have to get a license or something like that. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Bubble Buster, calm down, dude. Nobody's making false invest. I'm not making false investments, or sorry, I'm not making false statements about investments, man. Just calm down. All right, Matthew Campos says, uh, both, bro, multitask. Nah, JK, yeah. Uh, please, okay, I already read that. Uh, Enrique says, the friends of, uh, Rin, is it Ringan? Ringan is such a great game, but sadly, no co-op. Yeah, but I, I don't get that. So, basically, it's like River City Ransom, but with no co-op. Why would they not have co-op in the game if it's like River City Ransom? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense to me, at least. Like, why, why are you going to have, you know, um, I don't get that um yo what's up vesper how you doing today my man um how you doing today good to see you here it's trademark they can't use the term hd2d but they can replicate the aesthetics okay replicate the aesthetics but they can't use the term hd2d okay yeah i think they should just make their own style of game personally golden oracle says capcom's all about classic ports could we get breath of fire trilogy remaster on switch no and i'll hear here's the reason why um, I don't think you're going to get anything about that. When was the last time Capcom has done anything significant with Breath of the, or sorry, Breath of the Wall, with uh, Breath of Fire? So I'm not going to sit here and get your hopes up for something that probably isn't going to happen. Uh, Capcom has been ridiculous with Breath of Fire. Um, so I don't think we're going to see anything, at least not anytime soon. Maybe at some point, but not anytime soon. Um... <clears throat> Enrique says, how about a Zelda 2 remake done in the same way Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap, but in the art style Zelda 2 instruction art? 
I, I don't think I'd like that either. In my opinion, I don't think Zelda 2, that game should ever be remade ever again or should be re-released ever again. Zelda 2 should never, it should just stay dead. I really don't like Zelda 2. I personally feel what they should do if they really want to hit a home run, because that's an RPG, right? I think they should just make an RPG line of Zelda games, action RPGs. But I don't think they should copy Wonder Boy or try to use the try to use the art from the manual or make a zelda 2 is stupid they're stupid up and down weirdo wiggly combat that that game has where you're just like bounce where you're pinball bouncing and going through like that game's god i don't like that game um i personally feel that monolith soft should make a zelda rpg line it should be separate from the main line so you should have breath of the wild or whatever ocarina of time type of games twilight princess you should have that line non-rpgs action adventures then you should have a separate line of 3D action RPGs where you get to use Link, you get to use Princess Zelda, Sheik, whatever, and they make new characters for you to use in an action RPG. I mean, that would be dope. Um, that's just me. I don't, I don't want a 2D wiggly combat remake of Zelda 2. Um, but hey, I know some people do, but I, I would not, I would not like that at all. Um, let's see here. Uh, Model Z says, I can't believe you personally sat on Zelda 2 like that. I feel personally attacked. Bro, I'm sorry, dude, but Zelda 2 is not very good. Um, I don't think it's very good. I think the game is, um, the game, it's, I mean, maybe for its time, maybe it was okay, but I still think Final Fantasy crushes it as an RPG. Even the original Final Fantasy crushes it as an RPG. Um, I think like Fantasy Star and other RPGs that came out around that time period crush it. I don't think, I mean, it was an action RPG, which is different. So I guess that's, you know, but I, I just don't think Zelda 2 is very good. And I tried really hard to like Zelda 2 as a kid. And I've played it again. I played on the 3DS. I've played it Virtual Console. I just don't think it's a very good game. And I've tried to like it. It's just the combat's wiggly as hell. Like, it's just like the music is meh. I don't, I mean, people talk about the music, but I don't think the music's that great. Like, it's just Link looks dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of that game at all, dude. Um, so yeah, um, Zelda Two is a solid eight out of ten. Even now, I I just I just we're just gonna have to agree. To, there's nothing that you guys can tell me, like do to tell me to make me think that I'm, I think Zelda Two is like a good game. I just I don't like. It. I can I can acknowledge that people like the game. I can acknowledge I can see why people like it because it's something different, something unique within the Zelda franchise. I get that, but I mean, all it takes is one model model soft developed RPG to absolutely crush Zelda Two. That's all it'll take. That's all it will take. For, to, for it to crush Zelda 2. Monolith Soft, I mean, every Xenoblade, every Xeno, Xeno game made ever is better than Zelda 2. Every single Xeno game ever made is, and even dating back. I would even go as far to say nearly every single Monolith Soft game is better. I would, yeah, actually, yeah, I've enjoyed every single, because I've pretty much played every single Monolith Soft. Bots and Kato's, if you want to talk about the original stuff, but like before they turned into Monolith Soft, so Square, I mean, they worked on Chrono Trigger, they worked on Secret of Mana, I mean, they worked on Xeno Gears, you know, they worked Xeno Saga, I mean, the list goes on, and on, the list goes on and on, you know, the list goes on and on in terms of what they've done, um, I, I don't think there's a, there's a, Monolith Soft would easily make a better RPG than Zelda 2, I mean, Zelda 2's old, so it makes sense, but even if you date back, heck, their Dragon Ball Z game is better than Zelda 2, Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans, absolutely better than Zelda 2. And I'm not just saying that just because it's Dragon Ball Z or it's Monolith Soft. That game is legit better than Zelda 2, in my opinion. And that's a DS game, you know. So that, that's just that's just my thoughts. That's just my thoughts. I know a lot of people will disagree, but um, give Monolith Soft an opportunity to make a Zelda RPG, and I guarantee you, it kicks the crap out of Zelda 2, like hardcore. Because Xenoblade 2 absolutely destroys Zelda 2. Obviously, it's a new you know new game, and I get that, but. Even if you go back to what they did before, back in the 16-bit era and the older stuff, they all their games back then were better than Zelda 2, too, as well. So, um, Let's see here. Prepare to take action. What do you see coming of this? Nothing. Deadlock7 says, how about they made a, a cool Zelda Metro, Metroidvania style? It could be a fun spinoff. A cool Zelda Metroidvania? I mean, I don't know, man. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they should make Metroid into a Metroidvania type of game <laughs> where it has, like, RPG elements and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Zelda 2 paved the way for games like Xenoblade Chronicles and other action games. I disagree. I actually don't think that Zelda 2 paved the way for anything because there was pen and paper RPGs and there was Final Fantasy and there was Fantasy Star and there were other RPGs that probably were more influential to the uh, core Japanese style of turn-based um, RPG um that evolved into an action rpg so i have to disagree i don't think zelda 2 paved the way for anything to be honest i think zelda 2 paved the way for them to say that we should never do this again um and that's kind of i don't know of any developer saying oh we were inspired by zelda 2 maybe there's some of them out there but i don't think i don't think really zelda 2 paved the way for anything 
Um, it's an action RPG. A lot of the greatest RPGs that people so that influenced them were turn-based RPGs, were stuff like Chrono Trigger or stuff like Fantasy Star or stuff like uh, Breath of Fire or stuff like uh, Final Fantasy or um, like Dungeons and Dragons. You know, those were the things that really got a lot of RPG developers going. Or Fire Emblem, for example, or the the original origins of uh, Advanced Wars. You know, those are what inspired the mod like people to evolve RPGs. I don't know if Zelda two inspired anything. Um, to be honest, I think there's a, I think there's a, a Adventure Time game that's like Zelda two, and maybe it, it's inspired by that. But that's about the only game that I can think of that literally said, oh, yeah, we took inspiration from Zelda 2. Is that Adventure Time game. There's probably more. I get that. But I haven't seen anything on anybody saying Zelda 2 inspired anything, to be honest. Um, <laughs> so I'm not trying to be mean. I just I just don't recall of anything saying people say, oh, Zelda 2 is the game, you know, like. But I hear people say, oh, Final Fantasy was the game that kind of paved the way for us. I hear people saying or developers saying like, oh, Fantasy Star or Dungeons and Dragons was big for us, you know. Uh, stuff like that, you know, but I, I never heard people say, oh, yeah, Zelda 2 was for the RPG. Like, um, but that's just, like I said, that's just me. Maybe they're out there, you know, maybe they're out there. Uh, Mav Intensify says, yeah, I worked at a convenience store also. Okay, never mind. That was old. I really want a Metroid Fusion sequel, but not sure if they would do uh, what they do with it. It hasn't been around for 10 plus years or so uh, since Fusion. Yeah, man, it's been a while. Uh, been a while. Um... What game would you want to see come to Labo VR? I don't really care about Labo VR, Tyler Who's to be honest. So I don't really have any opinion on what game that I like, want to see come. I don't. I don't really care. Um, whatever they do, they do. Excuse me. Um, Marlowe says, "Model Soft making a full Zelda game would be a dream. Easy game of the year. I don't want it to be the mainline Zelda game. I want it to be a spinoff, so they can do more creative stuff. Like I want it to be a different type of game. I don't want it to be, or I want it to be kind of like." I want it to be a mainline game, but it's clearly something separate. Like, you're still going to get your regular Zelda, you know, your regular adventure Zelda or more dungeon-based Zelda, whatever the case is, you're still going to get that. I want it to be something that's different so they don't have to play by the same Zelda conventions, you know, and certain things. So I, I'm hoping one of these days, I, I think a model of soft-developed Zelda would be would be so god-tier. It, it would be legit, like, freaking awesome, so... Um, I played Zelda 2 for the first time on, on the Switch Online service, uh, went in open-minded, thought it was okay. No, wait, it's horrible. Oh, well, literally. <laughs> um, it's aged. I don't think it's aged very well either. But I can, like I said before, like to Matthew's point and to other people that are saying that it's a good game, like I can see why you guys like it. I can, I can look, I can see why you guys like it. I'm not here to sit there and trash on it as if it can't be enjoyed by anybody and it's not enjoyable for everybody. Just for me. I don't, I, I don't like it, but no, it, I mean, if you want to play it, you want to buy it, whatever the case is, that, that's cool. Want to play like Nintendo Switch Online? That's all. I mean, it's not like I don't want the game to exist. That's fine. I'm glad they tried something different. That's good. You know, like when you try to, that's how you breed innovation. When you try something different. If we never tried anything different, we wouldn't have gotten Breath of the Wild. We wouldn't have gotten Wind Waker, you know? So it's always good to try something different. It's always good. So I'm not faulting them for trying something different. Um, all right. Take it easy, Dragon Gamer. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Uh, Vesper says, "What or what were your thoughts on people noticing the Triforce crest on the old Monolith Soft concept art?" Uh, by the way, well, the only thing about that is that Monolith Soft has worked on Zelda games before. They they helped out literally develop Zelda games. So, I mean, old concept art with 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 that 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 doesn't really surprise me since they've been helping out with Zelda since 2010, 2011. You know, um, they helped out with Skyward Sword. They helped out with Breath of the Wild. So it makes sense um anthony albert said i would love imprisoning war wars talked about in ocarina of time fire emblem style okay i guess that'd be a little bit different uh, matthew campus says i always uh, thought they should do zelda cross fire emblem game where the triforce is actually a uh, fire emblem i really don't want them to cross over those two franchises if anything have some cameos but i really want fire emblem to be fire emblem and zelda to be zelda and i've said this a million times and i'll always say it when people say crossover stuff please uh, the crossovers they almost just, I mean, unless it's Smash, they almost, like, never work. I mean, yeah, there's a few that work and okay, like Pokemon Conquest, whatever, Project Cross Zone, whatever the case is. But, I mean, I'd rather just, I mean, for me, I'd rather just them, like, okay, if you want to have borrow some characters, that's fine. But I don't like these, like, cro these cross games are not, not my cup of tea. Not my, usually the main games are always better, dude. Like, Pokemon Conquest is cool, but I mean, I'd rather just play Pokemon, to be honest, man. Like, I'd rather just, I'd rather just spend my time playing Pokemon, you know? And of course, yes, it's an extra game, so it doesn't really affect anything, you know? But give me a game in a certain style, right? Like, give me a, you can give me a game, like, take a franchise and put it in a certain style, that's fine. 
Hyrule Warriors, for example. That is a Musou game, but it has, you know, uh, Zelda characters. Fire Emblem Warriors, Musou game, but it has Fire Emblem characters. But the whole cross stuff where you're trying to you're trying to make this rule come into that world and try to make it work is just always like, uh, you know, it's just always kind of sketchy when you do that. So for me, I kind of just want to see Fire Emblem be dope and it can be Fire Emblem and Zelda be dope and it can be Zelda. You know, I, I don't need to see some, uh, you know, fan service type of crossover. And like like I said, the game to me that finally did it for me was like, okay, I'm done with getting hyped for this was, was Tokyo Mirage Sessions. It's like you show, you literally show a bunch of Fire Emblem characters. You show a bunch of, of, of Shin Megami Tensei characters. And then you don't even get it. You don't even get that. And then you get something. That's like, okay. And I waited all. I waited three plus years, three years for this. And th- I mean, Tokyo Mirage Sessions is fantastic, but this is not Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire. This is not what you advertised. This is not what you advertised. You did not advertise that. Yes, it's dope. The game is actually freaking fantastic. I love the game. But it's just this is not this is this is what happens when you try when you try to do stuff like this. It's like you know what would have been great on the Wii U? How about a Fire Emblem game and a Shin Megami Tensei game? Instead of wasting your time trying to cross over these two franchises and messing up and not get how about a Fire Emblem game on the Wii U and how about a Shin Megami Tensei game on the Wii U? That would have been great. Am I wrong or right here, guys? What if they just did that instead of trying to cross over these two games? Like, just just, just give us a Fire Emblem game on the Wii U. That would have been great. HD Fire Emblem on the Wii U? That, that would have been fantastic. And I guarantee you probably would have taken them three years to do it. I would have just, it would have been, fa- what, what if we got Shin Megami Tensei and Fire Emblem? Oh, oh, that's, that, that's a good idea. Oh. That's what the Switch is getting. The Switch is getting a mainline Fire Emblem game and a mainline Shin Megami Tensei game. Feels good, doesn't it, guys? Feels pretty damn good to know that we're going to get Fire Emblem, great Fire Emblem game that's already looking dope, and Shin Megami Tensei. You know, not some type of crossover. We'll see you in 10 years. Like, just give us the just give us the franchises. We don't need a they're announcing a crossover before you even got the regular franchises on the system. It's like, wait a minute. Why are you crossing something over before you even have the regular game on the system? I don't get that. Just make a Shin Megami Tensei game. Even if we just got one game, just a Shin Megami Tensei game, or we even got just like a Fire Emblem game. I would have taken either one of those over Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Because at the end of the day, what was Tokyo Mirage Sessions? It was a new IP. With Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei stuff thrown in, sprinkled into it to try to salvage this whole crossover. That's all it was at the end of the day. You know? That's all it was. Um, Animal Crossing cross Xenoblade. I'm sorry, I went on a rant there. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, except Mario plus Rabbids crossover. That was cool. Mario plus Rabbids crossover. Here's the thing about Mario plus Rabbids crossover, guys. That wasn't cool because it was a crossover. That was good because it was a good game. It was a Mario XCOM. That game wasn't good because it was a cross. Those rabbits look dumb as hell. They still look stupid. They look dumb in the game and they're annoying. But the game is good because it's a good game. Tokyo Mirage Sessions is good because it's a good game. Not because they say, oh, Fire Emblem this and, and, and Shin Megami Tensei that. And we're doing some, it's because it's, a, it's just a good game. It has nothing to do with the crossover. Mario plus Rabbids could have been a regular, used generic looking characters. It still would have, the mechanics in Mario plus Rabbids are good. Aesthetics are great. I get that. But the game is good. The game's just flat out good. The mechanics are good. It's XCOM. You know? XCOM is good. XCOM isn't Mario plus Rabbids, but XCOM is good. It's a little bit of a simplified version of XCOM. XCOM doesn't need Mario and Rabbids to be good. It's just, XCOM is just XCOM. You know? So... That's my thought process on Mario plus Rabbids. It's not good because of Mario and Rabbids put together. It was good because the game is good. Um, that's just my thoughts. Um, Phoenix Wright and Layton was um, awesome. Loved it. I, I think Phoenix Wright and Layton, that makes sense because of the type of games those are. You know, so I think a crossover like that actually makes sense. Um, and it, it, it works well. Um, sometimes when you have games that are like uh like a art like a turn-based rpg or a strategy rpg and trying to mix it up with a turn-based rpg and then things just go wrong 
Um, but I'm looking over at the, the history of games and there's just so many of these crossovers that just, you know, that just don't work. Um, let's see, Tokyo, uh, bad Tokyo Mirage Sessions marketing. It did have bad marketing, but the problem is that you advertised, you advertised Shin Megami Tensei characters and Fire Emblem characters. That's what you advertised. You advertised as if, as if you might be able to play as all of these characters, and they did not deliver that. They delivered mirages and a brand new character, a brand new IP in a brand new world. Okay, they didn't deliver on what they originally said that they were gonna, what the concept art was going to do. That's why sometimes you just show a title screen with a name. You, you don't show actual things. They actually showed a bunch of Shin Megami Tensei characters that got people hyped. There's Nocturne. There's all these different Shin Megami like doing this. There's all these characters. There's that guy that's doing this. You know, you have all these characters, you know, that you're seeing. You're seeing Marth and all this stuff. You're like, oh, okay, here we go. We get to use Marth and we get to use all these characters. Let's do this. And then you get Tokyo Mirage Sessions. That's the reason why that game didn't do well. Because they advertised one thing, didn't show the game forever, then say, here you go. You like it? And you're like, uh, that's, that's that you showed Krom and like Marth and like Keda and like you showed all these other, but that's, yeah. what's a Tokyo Mirage Sessions? <laughs> Hey, what, what, what's a Mirage Sessions? Where is Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem? That's what you. That's what you said, and then you. Okay, sure. Nobody bought the game. Um, Anthony Albert says, "I love to. <laughs> I love Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Me too. I love it too. But they completely botched the marketing. It just dropped the game as a new RPG. I think it would have gone over better. But you couldn't have." The thing about it is that you, you that they tried to do that. They did try to, but the thing about it is that they already advertised it. The reason why the game was advertised as Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem is because they were actually trying to make it Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem, but it didn't work. They couldn't, they couldn't make that work. Try to cross over these two worlds with this type of lore and that type of lore. It just didn't work. It, it didn't work. So then they ended up just saying, "Let's just do this," you know. Um. Let's see, crossovers usually work great for fighting games, though. Yeah, fighting games, I agree. And I've always said that multiple times if you watch my thoughts. Fighting games, they work because fighting games, you don't have to make sense. You don't have to, like, you can just make a move set and then say, okay, here you go. Like, a lot of fighting game stories are stupid. You know, like, World of Light. <laughs> like, come on, you guys see, you see what I'm saying here. Like, even, like, Subspace Emissary. Uh... You know, in terms of, like, like what it trying to make sense and stuff, it's just kind of a bunch of random stuff thrown together. Even, like, Project Cross Zone, even, like, a non-fighting game. It's just all this stuff that's just happening. You're like, oh, okay, can I just play the game already? You know? Um, but, yeah, you're right. In terms of the actual gameplay, it always works because it's a fighting game. It's, it's a lot of these crossovers are easy to play. You can pick it, like, like for example, like, a Marvel versus Capcom or, like, a, you know, SNK versus, you know, stuff like that. They're all easy to play. It, they're fun. There's a bunch of cool characters. So it makes sense. So, yeah, fighting games always work for crossovers for the most part. Uh, you know, what's what's the Street Fighter cross Tekken or whatever? Maybe that, that didn't work. But for the most part, they always work. There's There's been some busts out there, though, for sure. For sure. Um, for absolutely sure. Um... What about crossovers in their own franchises like Dissidia? Well, that's diff. No, that's 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 not that's not the same thing that we're talking about here because that's just that's Final Fantasy. It's not really a crossover. That's just taking all the Final Fantasy games and making like that's like Mario Kart. That's the same thing as like Mario Kart or like you know, like Mario Kart. Like you're taking like Donkey Kong. You're taking like a bunch of stuff that was spawned from Mario. But then you're also having stuff like Zelda and stuff thrown in there. But still, at, at its core, it's, that's it's not the same thing. It's not like a real true crossover. Like Dissidia is not. Dissidia is a different genre. They're taking the same game. They're taking like the same characters from Final Fantasy, and they're just putting it in a different genre. You're putting it in a action fighting game RPG. You know, um, Deadlock Seven says yes. Except, okay, I already read that. Um, so yeah, that's my thought process on it. It was uh, at least. Yo, what's up, WM Gamer? How you doing today, my man? Uh, let's see. No, you're right, OJ. Smash is the best crossover game. I think Smash is the best crossover game. I don't think there's another crossover game that's better than Smash Brothers. So, yeah, I agree with you. I think Smash is definitely the best crossover game. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Yes, true. But mixing up genres is better than cross better than crossovers. What does that mean? Talk about like XCOM Mutant Year Zero looks cool. Okay, but okay, what do you what do you talk about? You said you said that. Uh, 
mixing up genres is better than crossovers what do you what do you mean Dawson 31 says uh, but I think that more of the fault of bad of the bad token raw sessions was the idea of crossover smash and Mario plus rabbits do it well so they can work in well no I think here's here's the thing Dawson 31 here's the thing Mario plus rabbits was advertised exactly what it was it was advertised as a crossover like these two characters in this system there wasn't any false marketing or misleading marketing from the very beginning it was advertised as one thing it was showed off as one thing and then it was released very shortly after it was it was announced so there's no lag time there's no time for people to sit there and critique it to hell or say where is it at or anything tokyo mirage sessions was advertised as shin megami tensei characters and fire emblem characters coming together to one to fight to play to whatever the case is and then they went absolutely silent on the game for years and then they re then it reemerged as as a singing simulator thingy action or turn based RPG a very good one but still so it, the reason Tokyo Mirage Sessions could have been if they advertised Tokyo Mirage Sessions exactly as what it was from the beginning like Mario plus Rabbids was there wouldn't have been a problem even if it was delayed as long as it was we can just say okay this game is a, a, a game that borrows from from Shin Megami Tensei with the battle system and some of the stuff and from Fire Emblem okay. People wouldn't have had a problem, but they advertised one thing and it seemed like they misled people on it. It turned out being something completely different than people weren't expecting. So if it was advertised as what it was from the beginning, then there wouldn't have been a problem as much. Uh, yo, what's up? I am not human. Uh, you, you are a bit late, but that's okay. Thank you for coming out to the stream. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. I just watched an ad for a clean, clean your bread stuff to get in here. Clean your bread. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about there, but okay. Shout outs um let's see here yeah in fighting games it works it's allowed to be silly uh 2b is a cool dlc in soul Calibur, for example or link in the old ones yeah exactly it, it always works in fighting games it always works in fighting games because there's not really anything yet you have to do really you know oh uh, oh beard okay i thought you said bread my bad i can't read i'm no you you did say bread there's an r there okay now you're saying that uh, is it beard okay I, I guess they noticed that i have a beard so therefore there's some advertising with a beard stuff in there man google's analytics man they can be really good when they want when they want to um let's see here um also um i think i talked about be uh beard care product uh care products before so i think youtube picked up on that i was like oh okay yeah this i think they literally tag you if you have a beard they tag you because i've talked about beard health and taking care of your beard and making sure you comb it and Whatever the case is. I mean, I try with mine. I, tr I try. I, I, I try a little bit. You know, it's not... It could be better, but it's not It's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, Retro Cheats says, Nintendo will soon stop adding NES games. People assume any Super Nintendo's next, but they might stop completely instead. No, I don't think Nintendo will stop completely instead. Um, I don't think they... I don't think they'll stop completely instead. But... Um, I don't think... I don't think it said soon. I just think that at some point they said it stopped. They didn't say anything about soon. Um, so I think you, I think you added that in there unless from what I read, it never said anything about soon. It just said at some point it's going to stop. So you added in soon. Um, and then you also said that it might completely stop instead and just nothing gets added else. I mean, that's just, I find that ridiculous. Um, but anyway, you can think whatever you want, of course, uh, soon can mean who knows when. Well, but you added in soon though. They, it never said soon. You said Nintendo will soon stop adding in NES games. So that's not true. Um, you added in soon um and then and then you went on to assume you said oh people assume next but they might stop completely so you went on to assume that um yo what's this matthew campos with the almost toby buster konohamaru Konoham tonight this man's swinging in through yo yo matthew matthew my man you already donated tonight yo thank you man thank you i appreciate that and he says ten dollar donation and he says donating because the night looks like I can finally be uh finally be the top stream ninja with my <laughs> with my financial means LMAO. <laughs> Yo, first of all, let me just say this, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. You're an elite ninja. You're an elite ninja. So yeah, you're gonna be the top stream ninja tonight. It seems like that. Yes, you are. But we appreciate your support, man. You you come here, you're very you, you're not like you don't get butt hurt when I come back at you with some things. You're always, you know, it seems like you're always very jovial about things and you come, you bring good questions. Part of it, it's not just, you know, donating. Donating is obviously great. It helps. It really does help out because YouTube's on some BS. It does. But part of it's also coming out to the streams, watching the videos and interacting because 
if you guys don't notice, you guys help make this show just about as much as I do. You guys give me good suggestions to talk about. You guys sometimes say something and I'll be like, no, well, that's not that. And it makes things interesting. So you've come in here and ever since you joined up, man, you've been you've been great. So I appreciate your support, man. I, re I really, really do. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. But yeah, that does make you the top stream ninja for the night, dude. Shout outs. <laughs> uh shout outs dude um all right so let's go ahead and get you get you up there um all right i see okay fair counter no it, and like i said um i understand the concern retro cheats not trying to call you out um i just want to make sure that we get the right information out there right um so i'm not trying to call you on that you're right they could i guess they could completely stop i don't i don't think they would but we didn't say anything but there was nothing about soon there was nothing about soon at least at that point so we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see um let's see here yo um can't uh can't come out tonight man i gotta clean my uh, my bread <laughs> yo uh oh i gotta have a clean uh gotta have clean bread my man yeah dude mm. let's see uh he says uh let's see here deadlock seven says but shout out to you guys give some love to matthew campos in the chat uh he's also oh yeah there you go right up here too stream i think that's your first time being a stream boss too as well man so shout outs there you go matthew campos with that full hp bar thank you so much man um let's see here um john b yo renan gun user john b's in the house what is up john b good to see you here and he says just got here did you talk about vr yet yeah we actually talked about it about an hour ago um basically nintendo labo vr it's it's more of you guys' thoughts because i talked about it a bit and i was just messing around with the last one so i want to know you guys' thoughts on it what are you guys' thoughts but like i was a little tired before this podcast started because i've just been up all day but dude, it's so revitalizing to talk to you guys. A lot of you guys' personalities and to bring like the stuff that you guys bring up, man. You guys are best. Seriously, I'm not just saying that. You guys are freaking amazing. <laughs> like I'm like a fully like awake with all the conversation. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Labo VR. If you still want to talk about that, let me know what you guys think about Labo VR. We also talked about how Nintendo, um, Labo VR with Super Mario, Super Mario Odyssey, and Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Um, but we also talked about how Nintendo and Microsoft and Sony are getting adver um, getting investigated. And this 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 person says that uh, we are fully prepared to take action. Whew. Big bad Nintendo in the house. Big bad big bad uh big bad agencies coming after him, man. Uh, am I late? Uh, Elite Ninja Jetty. Since you're an Elite Ninja, you're you're not late, but you're good. <laughs> uh, do you have any Labo kits? Yeah, I do have one Labo kit that's not open. Um, that's unfortunately not open at this point. Well, I opened it, but didn't really get too far. Uh, Seventy six minutes later. Yeah, man um your son's interested due to the mario stuff being added in yo let's go uh tony leach says hey i've been able to watch uh glad to uh glad to see things are going uh well okay i think you meant well yeah things are going well tony um thanks for coming out to the stream man glad you're able to catch it tonight that's why it's good to do some of these late night streams sometimes people have work all day get back late can't watch till later so i'm glad i can be able to provide you know provide some entertainment for you thanks for coming out to the stream man um all right, so let's move on here. Can't mess with Nintendo uh, lawyers, dude. You can't. It's unfortunate. You'll get bopped every single time. Nintendo has the world class, world class lawyers, world class lawyers. Um, they could they could announce Super Nintendo games before the end of the fiscal year, right? Well, the end of the fiscal year is already. You mean the end of the the one that just ended, or do you mean the new one? So next year, by the end of March twenty twenty, is that what you're talking? About? Or yeah, March twenty twenty. Yeah, I think, yeah, in that time period, absolutely. Super Nintendo games could be coming very soon. I think Super Nintendo games could be coming, like, sooner than later, you know? Um, so, yeah. He said, um, I, I think that Xenoblade Chronicles X video had a bunch of stuff you responded to on previous streams. Yeah. Yeah, it did, actually. That that whole Xenoblade video that I did recently, Mav Intensifies, was literally about people talking about like so that i just did that video so i can just say hey we're gonna point to this because people always ask me what should you play first is 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 xenoblade x worth getting a wii u like that those are just common questions so i was like you know let's just do a video and anytime that somebody asks that question about xenoblade xeno 2 versus torna or whatever the case is i'm gonna just point them in that direction i'm just point them in that direction so there you go any updates on maybe streaming Xenoblade one sometime soon, OJ? Um, it'd be a uh, treat to see. Yeah, I'm trying to get uh, hook up with uh, Shadow of Nexus about Xenoblade uh, one HD mods for. Um, if anybody can teach me how to do it easy, like quick and easy. If you've already got me on DMs for uh, for Twitter and you know how to do Xenoblade one HD on the PC, please reach out to me on Twitter or tag me on Twitter. Uh, someone who can be reliable and I can talk to about getting Xenoblade one HD. Or getting Xenoblade One on PC, 
because I'm not trying to play that raggedy Xenoblade like on like the Wii U. It's like it's so it's like it's got like jag like the jaggiest of jags, dude. I'm not trying to play that on stream. It looks so jaggy, man. I'm good, and I rather just use like a pro controller or something. Like the problem like with the Wii and the Wii U version of the game is like you've got to use like the Wii remote and nunchuck hooked in or whatever it is, or you got to use like a gamepad or. So I'm not, I ain't trying to use those controllers to play the game. So I can, on a PC, I can use like my Xbox or my Pro Controller. I just want to play it normal. I don't, I don't want it to be so damn jaggy for you guys. So if anybody knows how to do that, hit me up. Um, let's see. But the thing about it is that's great that you have a CRT set up. But I ain't trying to hook up no CRT TV. And I can't do I can't stream. Like I need HDMI for Xenoblade to stream it. So I get it for you. Um, it does have classic controller support. It does. But like like I said, there's still many problems, you know? Like I'm not trying to I'm not trying to play that jaggy that jaggy stuff on on stream for you guys. Like just somebody tell me how to I've already bought I bought the game like 10 times. I bought the game on the Wii U. I bought the game originally on the Wii. I bought the game on the new Nintendo 3DS. So just somebody give me a clean version of the game that I can easily stream, you know? So I just need that the stream Xenoblade from the 3DS. I, I don't have a I don't have a 3DS capture card. I I mean, <laughs> I don't have a 3DS capture card. I almost bought one, but 3DS capture card's stupid. It's so dumb. I hate 3DS capture cards. They're stupid. Um, um, they're so dumb. Um, or even the next Mario Kart. What do you talk about, Deadlock? Uh, they did a VR lab. Or hold up, they did a VR Mario Kart game in the arcades in Japan. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, so you never know what might happen in the next patch. Yeah, you're right. It could. That definitely could happen. Um, John B says, I wonder if they made a plastic VR Labo would be more people to get it. Uh, my friend is terrified of trusting cardboard with this switch. I mean, yeah, you could, I mean, they could do it, but I don't know if they will, man. I mean, I don't know if they would. I don't, I mean, that cardboard's kind of sturdy, I guess, but still, um, Zelda Breath of the Wild slash Ocarina of Time says, do you think Xenoblade Chronicles 3 will use the blade system or try a new gameplay mechanic, keeping topple launch and usual Xenoblade Chronicles gameplay in the regard? Yeah, I think it'll keep the topple and the launch and the uh, slam or smash or whatever. It'll keep all of those. Um, but I think that it'll use it. It'll have a different gameplay hook. There'll be something because they always switch it up. They never keep the same gameplay hook. Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles was the, or, the origins of what it is, right? The art system, the origins of the arts. Xenoblade Chronicles X kind of did arts. They did arts, but they did it in a different way and they had mechs. There's also the, the mech gameplay in there. So that's definitely a big change up. Xenoblade Chronicles uh, 2 did the blade system, you know, but it still had all those different things. So yeah, I think I think they're gonna switch it up. I think they're gonna, there's gonna be new some, some new hook, some new gimmick that they put into the, the, the classic Xenoblade, um, you know, style, which is great, which I like it, you know. Um, uh, Xenoblade 1 had that see the future gimmick it did you're right Xenoblade 1 is ridiculously innovative in my opinion that is an insanely innovative game there's no other RPG on the planet I mean I think that there's two um, RPGs that are super good that aren't so gimmicky to the point to where like okay you're just doing this to try to stand out um, I think that Valkyria Chronicles 4 is one of those games and I think that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 or Xenoblade Chronicles is another one of those games that were just like insane at the time that they were released you're like what is this like what game like what is the MMO the action RPG like what is this and that's kind of how I feel about those two games Valkyria Chronicles the original on the PS3 and Xenoblade which they both came out kind of around the same time Valkyria Chronicles was 2008 Xenoblade was 2010 in Japan 2012 here in the US 2011 in Europe um, so around the same time, within two, three years of each other. Um, and it, it was nuts, dude. Like I, I never played such innovative RPGs like that to me. It was like, yo, this generation's like, it's part of the reason why I really liked the seven, well, not seven, we was, that was ugh, never mind. That's part of the reason why I really like some of the RPGs from that generation, you know, RPGs. Um, Dorkman says, sorry, I'm late. No, you don't need to apologize. Thank you for spending your night, your evening with here, uh, with here, you know? with me here on player essence i appreciate you being out here do you have any live okay uh, yeah like i said i have like the variety one or whatever but i haven't really played it um vesper says any updates okay never mind i already read that um let's see here uh, uh xenoblade stream from okay i already read that as well um all right so let's see here. they really pushed the wii to its limits model blew me away they pushed through that wii is dying in there that wii is being stretched to to unseen limits on there unseen limits on there but uh, John B, apparently Labo's doing okay on um, on Amazon. Labo is like the 
number three or four game right behind Yoshi. So looks like people people are people are people are are, are going for it. Um, let's see. Xenoblade Chronicles remastered on Switch would be awesome, but I guess there isn't an immediate need since there's Xenoblade Chronicles two. Yeah, I guess there's not an immediate need for it. But I mean, I'd be I'd be completely down for a Xenoblade Chronicles one remaster on the Switch. That'd be that'd be fantastic. That would be great. It would just take up that would take a lot of time though. That'd take a lot of time and resources. Um, Retro Cheat says I think third parties will make plastic VR for the Switch so we can get third parties to port their VR games over to the Switch. You know what the funny thing is? There's already been some third parties that have ported their VR experiences over to the Switch in non VR. There's already been some of those games, um, but I don't think I don't think it's a it's not like a one to one thing. Um, when you're developing like PS VR, it's not the same because the VR is very different and the tech that's used is very different. So the experience is going to be different. So I don't know if having a plastic VR is going to all of a sudden make them say, "Oh, well, we want to put our VR on there." No, so I mean, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to sit there and say that, yeah, um, you know, because we've heard about this Labo VR. I think we would have got more rumors if third party developers were going to support this Labo VR more. We, we would have got rumors about Labo VR um, and more about third parties already. It would have leaked earlier than it did, but I don't think any third party developers are supporting this at all because it's really, it's really low budget VR. Um, and I don't think that they, they weren't prepared. I just don't think Nintendo really wants this to be like, oh, something where third party developers are just like spending time and resources on it. I think it's just there just because I think this Labo VR is just there just, just to be there. Just why not? Let's try it. We'll try our own take on VR, low cost efficiency type of thing. Cause it's just cardboard. It's the same switch screen. You don't need anything new. You know, you don't got to buy any extra things or any extra cables or any extra controllers or anything. It's just the same thing. You know, so I think that's really what's going on here, man. And it's just cardboard at the end of the day. It's just more cardboard. I mean, and software, reje probably rejected software, right? Like software that they put together with like their new students, man. I mean, I'm I'm thinking that they're in their graduate program. This is exactly what they're doing with their graduate program. I don't think anybody is of significance as working on this Labo VR games. I mean, from what I understand, like even like the robot game was just like a throwaway from the Project Robot. All, all they did was take that and repurpose it into that thing, you know. So I think this is their college graduate. Thing. Hey, you guys. Hey, you. Hey, you. You. You newbies, come come work on this stuff, you know. Um. So yeah, man. I uh, wasn't thinking AAA VR, but little indie VR guys. I mean, is there? A, I mean, what's the little indie VR guys? I mean, VR isn't a popping market though. I mean, maybe we get it. I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's not possible, but I just don't think it's happening. Um, too much at least. I I just. I just don't see it, but hey, you never know. You never know. Uh, all I know is Breath of the Wall VR is bad. I mean, we have to try it out first, but I'm not expecting it to be super good. Um, but I don't think VR is good. So that's just my opinion on VR. Uh, John B says, true enough. Uh, and to be honest, I wasn't going to buy it until today. Just going to give it a day or two to see if the, uh, the reviews just um, in case. Yeah, that's also another thing you can do. Try it out. I mean, why not? Uh, let's see. Matthew Campos says, "Love your video on Xenoblade Chronicles X, bro. You can't play the game on a white eight gigabyte Wii U, though. It, um, it'll max out the thirty-two gigabyte black Wii U with the hard drive as well." Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, although um, that's only if you download the data packs. If you have the game physical, then you don't. It's it, the data packs are optional on there, Matthew. You don't need them. Obviously, it's better if you have them, but you don't need the data packs. Um, it's not like a requirement to play the game. You can still play the game off the disc. Um, John B says, I'm 95% sure that Nintendo VR would be quality. The 5% is legacy anxiety from the virtual boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I mean, uh, I don't know. It's probably going to be okay. But hey, um, I'm not a VR fan. Um, Deadlock7 says, Player says, the funny thing about Labo VR is not, it's not only is it very cheap, uh, VR entry point. It's also the console one with the least wires. Well, yeah, that's my biggest problem. I mean, we were talking about that on the PE podcast, Deadlock. Um, you know, uh, we were talking about the whole, like, we were making fun of, like, uh, Jordan Frings because we were like, I said that you look like Predator playing PSVR because of all the damn cables. Like, it's, like, it's like all these cables, like, hanging out the back. You, you look like Predator or you look like, you know, you look like Bob Marley playing VR, I mean, like you got your your dreads are shaking in the back. Shake them dreads, shake them dreads in the back, dude. You look like I mean, <laughs> little John or something playing Labo. I mean, playing not Labo, but playing VR, dude. I'm just like I ain't trying to, you know. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to do all that. Like I'm not trying to have hook up all these cords and wires and oh, like I'm just. 
it's just not yet, man. Just not, not yet. Um, so yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Starlink VR. I'm calling it here. You know what they should make? They should just make a. They should make a new Star Fox game. That's what they should make, man. That'd be dope. Um, the hands of third says, just out of curiosity, where did the Hokage Essence art come from? The Hokage Essence art. Um, my artist Nobu. He drew it. He drew that art. So Nobu doesn't. He's he's pretty busy, um, doing commissions and doing other things. But um, when he gets time, he draws art. Oh, I pay him and he he makes art for me. But we haven't had a lot of time. I've been looking for someone to do some new art. So. So, yeah, we're going to have some new art soon at some point, as soon as I stop being lazy and get and ask people once again or actually hit people back up that hit me up about it. Um, Golden Oracle says, did you hear the good news about Nintendo being a uh, number nine most reputable company? Check out Game Explain for more info. Yeah, I don't need to check out Game Explain for more info on that. And I don't need to really even know more info about that. I read that the, there was a title on um, on Twitter and they're that. That's great. I don't really need to know anymore because that's about all I need to know. That's great. If they're number nine reputable, good. I, but I already knew that they're reputable. I already knew that people like working there. I already knew everything on that. But I don't need to watch a video on it. Like, it's not like it's not it's not that i mean that's great and that's cool but it's it's not anything that i wouldn't talk about for like in a live stream right now for like more than like a a couple minutes but like great sure you know like, <laughs> that's good that's good that they're reputable that's that's fantastic good for them but that's it um yes the podcast was hilarious like always yes the podcast was very fun um very fun podcast um uh, that dude on Player One Movie made VR look good. Uh, that would be fun. <sighs> hey, man. Well, Y'all can think whatever you want about VR. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, this, the after show. This, the after. Suzumi, I don't know what you're talking about, Suzumi. This is, it's it's in the title what this is. This is PE Live, and we're going over multiple different topics. So, uh, no after show. This is just, uh, this is PE, regular PE Live, but just at night. Um... Let's see, dude, Barrett and Jordan are absolutely hilarious. Yeah, they're pretty funny guys, aren't they? They're pretty funny. Even Mandy's really funny, too. Like, Mandy Mandy gets in there at times, too. Uh, I came from the Abaddon Chillcast. Okay. I didn't know you came from the Abaddon Chillcast. I had no idea. You, did, you didn't let that be new before, and you just said one thing. So I was like, what? That, it didn't make any sense. But shout out to Suzumi. I appreciate you being here. Um... Shout out to Abaddon, too. Shout out to Abaddon. I know he has a pretty cool... I was actually... Um, I didn't get to watch too much of his podcast because mine started up at the same time. But, uh, but yeah, shout out to Abaddon. I usually, I usually watch it when I get the opportunity. Um, let's see. VR, Breath of the Wild. I'm going to try, uh, try it for like 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Never use it again. It's only 40, so whatever. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of people... I think that's what a lot of people are doing because that Labo VR kit, like the, the, the $40 Labo VR is going to do way better than, than the $80 one. Because for forty bucks, people are like, man, I can get this. I can get this for like thirty something dollars at Best Buy, and I can just try this update out. Like, is it worth it for that? Maybe, maybe not. I can always just give it away. Whatever the case is, but hey, if they're adding support or functionality for two of the best games on the Switch, why not try it out for that price? A lot of people are gonna get this for like thirty something dollars. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, no, no need to apologize, Suzumi. I appreciate you being here. I just didn't know what you were talking about. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew what we what, what's going on. That's all. Uh, that's that's it. That is it. Um, let's see here. Uh, Dorkman says Nintendo can do VR, but not voice chat in a, in a controller. Call me a skeptic. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I think it's by design. They purposefully didn't want to do voice chat in the controller. That's something that they purposefully said we're not going to do because they did it with the Wii U. They did it with the 3DS. They did it. With even the DS, built-in mic on the DS, built-in mic on the 3DS for voice chat, built-in mic on the Wii, or built-in mic with the headset and everything, or even, no, not even without it, on the Wii U. So they've done it before. They intentionally decided not to do it on there. So whatever the reasons are, I don't know. I don't know what the reasons are, but they've done it before. So I don't know why they didn't do it this time. So yeah. Um, Retro Cheat says, I think Labo is even required. Hold up. I think the Labo is even required, or you could design your own with enough skill um i don't even know if the labo is, like the labo like i think that the goggles don't those do something to way to the way that the the tablet itself looks 
I think those definitely do something. Those those lenses that are inside the Labo VR do something. So, I mean, I, you could design your own, but I, I don't know what those lenses do, but they do something. Um, so, yeah. Um, Let's see a first-person Xenoblade update. Man, I ain't trying to do all that, but hey, if they do it, they do it. Um, you can play Xeno kind of in first person. Um, so, yeah. Um, do I, uh, Matt New says, do I think the price for Labo VR will go down quickly? Probably. Depends on how it sells. You don't even like to use voice chat? I don't like to use voice chat either unless I'm talking with the people on my, on my own servers. But not everybody is like me, though. There's a lot of people who like voice chat, you know? Like, there's, like, a lot, a lot. There's, like, millions of people who like voice chat. So, if, the, if Nintendo can get it done better, that'd be great. But, I mean, like, I'm not going to, like, I want them to do it better, but I'm not going to sit here and get all angry and crazy and cuss people out and all that over it. It's like, if they can do it, they can do it. But if they don't, I mean, that's that's their bad. That's that's Their sales aren't going to be as good or whatever the case is. Because they're not offering as good as, you know, as good as service or whatever it is. They might not get as much sales as they were going to get. That's not my problem. That's their problem. I'm going to buy the Nintendo Switch online because I want to play Smash Brothers online. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Like, I don't want to talk to, I don't want to talk to the people that I match up against. I don't want to have a headset in and talk to people when I play them online. I just, that's just me. I don't want, I just want to play them online and move on to the next person. I want to talk to the people that I want to talk to. I've had enough of talking to random people online. That's the reason, like I said, that's the main reason why I created Player Assets. was because of dumbasses on voice chat. Racist, no good for nothing, idiots, all these different stupid people. And I'm like, is this what's out there to talk to? Yeah, there's cool people, but those cool people, you play them in a match, you never see them again. Like, Or sorry, you never see them again. Is there a way to actually have a bunch of cool people play all the time that you know that are cool, that you can talk to, that aren't going to be idiots, that you can trust? If there's a way to do it, I'm going to do it. Back then, the internet wasn't like it was right now, guys. So this was something that was new. This was I was thinking about this before. This was even before Twitch TV became like a like a thing where everybody was using. This was before YouTube blew up to what it was. YouTube was here, but it wasn't like what it was. So these type of like the concept of a community, the concept of even this right now, YouTube didn't even have this set up, guys. This wasn't even really a thing to where you can do this to this efficiency. Streamlabs, all this stuff up here, Toby Blaster, blah, 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 all this stuff to where we can create this cool community and to where we can actually build and like, you know, to where it's like, to like it is. None of that stuff was here. So I didn't even know if it was possible, you know, but voice chat is what made me, was what pissed me off in the first place is having open voice chat and letting pe people just come in and just say whatever they want to, you know? So, I mean, like... I hate voice chat like that, which is randoms and stuff. I can't stand it. Can't stand it. Too many people are stupid. Too many people ruin it. All for all the great experiences you can have, there's too many idiots out there that ruin everything. So voice chat is good when you can curate it and talk to your boys, talk to your, you know, the people that you want to talk to. But when it's not, when it's just willy nilly out there, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Random is a gamble. But I mean, Nintendo should have ways for you to easily connect with your friends, the people that you've already met through and you know that you can trust whatever the case is to at least trust to talk to them, not anything more than that, but just trust them. Then yeah, that's that's a good thing. But voice chat and open voice chat and what people are saying, oh, I want to talk to random. Like that's really what caused me. I mean, I guess that's a benefit, right? The, the racist Resident Evil 5 community at the time. So maybe that, that was a benefit. But at the same time, like I could have went without all the insults and stuff like that. Um... But that's just my opinion. Let's see here. Voice chat would be great if we can talk on Splatoon 2. I, I don't want to talk to anybody else on Splatoon 2, I'll be honest. But then again, um, I have my own thing. And for people on the same team, I think it would be great. But to be honest, man, I've heard people with Splatoon 2. And if you're matched up with randoms and somebody isn't doing their job, what's the first thing that you're going to say to them? You're going to get on them. That's what I've noticed, that you're going to get on them. You're going to call them names. Think It's just going to come out. It's just going to come out because you don't know them. The internet has conditioned your brain to treat people like crap a lot of the time. And even if it's not, people are very sen People can be very sensitive over the internet, you know? So, I mean, the first thing that's going to happen is that you're going to probably say something like, why aren't you doing this? Like, you're going to start turning into like an online commander. And that's, that's the thing that I noticed with team-based games back on the 360. You have these guys that get on voice chat and they think that, oh, they're like the hot... They're like the hot it, you know what I'm saying? Like they should, they they should tell everybody what to do and everybody what to pick and everybody. Like, it's like I ain't trying to hear any of that. Your ass is gonna get muted. 
Like, you know, I don't want to hear nobody talk on Splatoon 2 from Playmore Reynolds. I don't want to hear, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just go paint some ink over there or go paint my ink. It's a video game. It's not that serious. You go paint ink and do what you're supposed to do. I'll paint ink over here and do what I'm supposed to do. Whatever, you know? Um, but that's just me. That's, that's what I've seen. And, like, Overwatch is the worst. I have Overwatch. I played Overwatch on the Xbox 3. I played it on the PS4 first. Holy smokes. The voice chat is toxic as hell. Oh my gosh, I'm good. I muted that and I never turned it back on. Do not care. But hey, the mute button's there, you know. The mute button, the mute button's there if you need to use it. I'm just I'm just not a fan. As somebody who's been using voice chat for a long time and I used to do a lot of open voice chat like even when people even when people aren't trying to be mean, like I ain't trying to hear what you got to say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but that's just me. There's other people that like to fall in line and be foot soldiers and stuff like that. But that's that's just not me. I ain't trying to hear like no like freaking commander, online commander, tell me what to do in the game. Like I'm not trying to. No, I, I don't want to hear nothing you gotta say. No, no, I don't. I don't want to hear nothing you gotta say. Like just do whatever you want to do. I'm gonna do what I want to do. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. I'm disruptive when it comes to some of these games. Like I don't want to hear nothing you gotta say. Modern Warfare 2 used to play that game all the time online. Hey guys, we're down by two. Go over here. We need somebody. Shut your shut up shut up i can see the score i don't need to hear you talk <laughs> shut up i don't need to hear you talk bro gears were all right guys come over here we go over here marcus phoenix go over here hey you yeah we need to bet shut show up no nah, i don't need to hear you talk shut up i'm gonna go over here and change all this dude shut up if we lose we lose if we win we win i don't care i'm not trying to hear nobody command be then you there's always these damn commandos online every single one of these, there's always this guy that's literally dressed up like the damn character from the game you got these dudes that are wearing a damn squid outfit like talking in squid and playing splatoon out here trying to tell everybody what to do that's exactly what would happen getting on people if they mess up or whatever the case is back on the 360 days you had these online marcus phoenix gears of war command people wearing armor and playing gears of war they took it too seriously i don't want to hear nothing y'all gotta say nothing not a damn i don't want to hear nothing but that's just me. <laughs> Let's see. Go to flag B, bro. We're starting to loot. Yeah, exactly. Come on, guys. We need some pressure. We need some pressure on flag C, flag D. I mean, it's cool when, with, when you're with your, like, your homies. It's cool. And I get that. Like, voice chat, Nintendo needs to add it. Because for that, like, when you squat up, you need to have that, right? If you want to talk to your boys, that's cool. You want to talk to your girls. Whatever the case is, I get that. But, like, people out here say, oh, I want, I, want, I want to be the online commander. People online don't know what to do. Like, no, you guys, the people that are like that, y'all can screw off. Y'all can forever be muted. For, for the eternity be muted. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to hear nothing y'all online commanders got to say. Not a single one of you guys. And you guys ever play that game, Mag, Massive Action Game? Oh, my God. That, like, that, like... <laughs> I swear, dude, we had, like, freaking General Washington. We had, like, literally, like, army commanders in that game, dude. Like, oh, my gosh, dude. It was it was so funny, man. Um, it, it, was, it was so funny. It was so funny. Um, Mag, that game was just a, a, a breeding ground. You had, like, guys that were promoted, like, to squad commander. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm the online squad commander. Like, yes, yes, promoted rank up. Like, get your ass. <laughs> hey guys, 200 something people all chatting. Like, this, what a cluster F, dude. Like, oh my gosh, people be taking this too seriously. Like, too seriously, dude. Like, I'm good. I'm good, man. Um, let's see here. Uh, is OJ going to dress up like as a Xenoblade character when he's live streaming it? <laughs> I, there's been times where you don't see me and I'm dressed up as the, I'm dressed up as something. You guys just don't know that I'm dressed up. Yeah. Mag on PS3. Mag was a PS3 exclusive. Fortnite. Fortnite just got a bunch of dumb people playing. It's not even about taking it too. I mean, some people do take it too seriously, but the, yeah, the average intelligence of people playing Fortnite on a regular basis is just not that high no i'm joking i'm joking on that um no fortnite's like its own different beast man fortnite's like its own thing but i mean fortnite has voice chat so if you want to voice chat with people directly you can voice chat with them but everything that i've i've done direct voice chat with people on fortnite like randos and stuff i will never do that again we got people playing music in the background we got i mean i saw one thing where some dudes his dad comes in like hey man you want some chicken hey man i'm gonna have to get chicken uh, dad, I, I don't want no chicken. 
come on, man. It's pretty good chicken. I forgot who linked that. I'm like, dude, what? 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 It's like, Timmy, I think it's time for you to laundry. Where's your laundry at, Timmy? Mom, I'm playing Fortnite. I know, Timmy, you've been playing all day. Timmy, you've been playing all day. Get off of that Fortnite and put your laundry in the basket. <sighs> Mom, let me just get this done real quick. I mean, it's just like, I ain't trying to, like, what? Just mute your, just mute, man, you ain't need to, just mute. Can you hit the mute button? Can you just for a second mute? Um, you said what? What, what chicken? I can't, yeah, there was like a clip. I forgot who posted it. But somebody was like, somebody's dad came into the room. He's like, hey, man, I got some chicken. You ready to eat? Kid was like, no, I'm playing Fortnite. He's like, come on, man, chicken's good. It's good chicken. I'm just like, the people that play music. The sound quality is always trash because one, it's not direct feed music, right? It's through the speakers. We you or voice chat in general, the quality is just not good. But if you're hearing it through a speaker system where you got somebody You ever, you ever heard that? You ever heard people breathing through the mic? Like, like their life depends on, like they're on freaking, like they're like hooked up to like a, like a breathing machine. Like they're hooked up like Vegeta. Like after Vegeta got bodied by Zarbon, hooked up to like, like they're breathing, like the mic is literally in their mouth or up their nose. Like, why? Why, 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 it, why are you breathing into the mic like Darth Vader? Like Luke. Take down the building. Freaking got Bane on the mic. Like, voice chat is trash. Overall, it's just, it's just not a good experience. Unless you're with, like I said, you're talking to people that you know. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't vibe with this random people wanting random stuff. There's too many bad experiences for it to be actually good. Yes, you can do mute. I get it. You can mute people. I get that. But, I mean, you're going to end up muting so many people that to where you just, it's just, just, just turn it off. It's not that big of a deal. It, it really doesn't matter if you win or lose the game. I don't even know what my record is in Smash Brothers. And I take Smash very seriously. You guys know how I am about Smash. I have no idea what my win or loss record is. All I know is that the GSP system's trash. I know that I got a lot of wins. But I mean, like, I don't even care. I'm just there for the experience. If I win, I win. If I lose, I don't. Like, who cares? Um... Deadlock says, it's pretty much every online voice chat experience with randoms I've had. Horrible music, snoring, eating food loud, let your brother play. Oh, mom. Yeah, dude. It's it's not even worth going through because you have to remute them. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you mute them once, somebody else comes in, you got to mute them again. You know? Or, like, if you're playing Call of Duty, multiple people are shuffled in and out of a Call of Duty match. Like, every single time, like, you finish a map, people come in and out. You know? And even with Call of Duty, like, the modern Call of Duty... Back when they, before they did migrating hosts and stuff like that, um, people, it would let people add in people th then, right then and there. And you'd always hear the lame rap music. You'd always hear, sometimes even country, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Old Town Road out here back in the day and stuff like that. You out here hearing Toby Keith, you know what I'm saying? Like Honky Tonk Man, I'm out here. One time I heard like, I mean, there was like really crappy version of like uh sean michaels i'm a sexy boy like some guy was playing i'm a sexy boy like and i'm like bro really i mean i like sean michaels i like the music but i mean like i'm not your boy toy do, 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 do. Like, like, really right there in the match of overwatch you you playing i'm a sexy boy like come on man like i gotta go in there and mute you like it's just too much of a hassle like, to even deal with, like, in the first place, like, <laughs> like, yo, what's up, George? How you doing today, my man? Shout out to Renee Gone user George in the chat. Shout out, dude. I'm just like, what the hell, man? Like, why are you playing that? Like, I've heard all sorts of stuff. I've heard every single wrestling WWF 2000, WrestleMania 2000 soundtrack. You guys remember WrestleMania 2000 with the, with the, the black and the green font? Triple H, <laughs> time to play the game. <laughs> Jericho, the walls of Jericho. Like I've heard every single back in the day, dude. So calm, U.S. Navy SEALs, bro. WrestleMania 2000 soundtrack on repeat. <laughs> the Generation X don't 
know what to do. Just got tired of doing what you told us to do. What a break, boy. Yeah. Every single damn time you turn on SOCOM, some kid in his basement got WrestleMania 2000 soundtrack. Stone Cold, you hear the glass break. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. It was great. Yeah, man. So calm. Man, y'all don't see, y'all don't know how far back I go. Y'all think, oh, this OJ guy, all he does is play Smash Brothers and Switch. He doesn't know voice chat if it hit him right on the head, bro. There used to be a time, man. There used to be these, these long, P like you used to get a PS2 headset. Bro, you can take your PS2 headset, it can extend to your neighbor's house, bro. <laughs> The PS2 headset cord was the longest cord in the world. If your PS2 was in Antarctica, you could you could voice chat with someone from your PS2. In this cord, you could wrap it around yourself multiple times. You make yourself a headdress. I mean, I don't, you can wrap it around your arms. I don't know. It was dude. The, the, the PS2 headset. So y'all don't y'all don't know, but I, I, there was a time, believe it or not, I might seem like an old bearded. You know, all these kids and their games. But there was a time when I was that kid. When I was all about voice chat. Like, yeah, internet. Like, there was a time. But I've seen all the, the, the problems with the internet. I've seen all the issues with voice chat. I've seen all that stuff. And I ain't trying to deal with that no more. I'm, I'm just trying to live a simple, a simple life. You know what I'm saying? A simple online life. Where I communicate with peeps that I know that got my back. My homies, which are you guys. And my boys in the Discord and stuff like that, when we play certain games, and I talk to you guys, PE Podcast, I ain't trying to mess with nobody else. You know, when it comes to voice chat and all. I'm not try I ain't trying to hear. I've already heard enough people in my day. I used to play SOCOM back in the day, voice chat. The two SOCOM games on the PS2. I used to play Madden with voice chat. Think about how that was. Think about how Madden, think about how people that play Madden. And by the way, <laughs> PS2 Madden, I was ranked in the top 1,000. On Madden, on Madden 06, because I used Peyton Manning, and that was back with the Vision Cone. I'm giving you guys a throwback. This is all online, by the way, guys, so this is more than a decade ago. We're talking 14, 15 years ago for this stuff, right? Well more than a decade ago. Actually, with SOCOM, like almost 20 years ago with SOCOM. Or no, not 20. Or 2004. 2003? 2002? So yeah, we're going on, you know, 15 plus years. And back in the day, man, I Madden, Peyton Manning, there was this Vision Cone, right? Like, you basically had to, like, Look off your receivers. Like, if you're the quarterback, right, you have to, like, look off your man and then come back. Or you can, like, if you scare, if you stare down one person with this vision cone that they had, like, you can get interceptions. But Peyton Manning's vision cone was the whole field. So I used to pick the Colts and just body people online. And they used to get so mad. Oh, my gosh. The stuff that they would say, man, you only win it because you're using Peyton Manning because see me with the 49ers man see me with your team they always ask me what's your team like what's your team in real life i'll be like 49ers They're like oh yeah you a fraud cuz you a fraud man you ain't using you you a punk you a you a b you a, you you ain't nothing you ain't using your team man no 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 they be they be going crazy i'm like bruh i'm like alex smith was a rookie at the time this man alex smith this man's vision cone was a freaking pen this man couldn't see nothing it was a damn line if you, for one second, stared down a receiver, Alex Smith throwing an interception. Alex Smith had no vision. Why am I going to sit here and use the 49ers and get destroyed? No, I'm going to use Peyton Manning because he has the, the biggest damn cone in the world. Like, nah, nah. These people are so stupid. Like, when I, oh my gosh, Madden ranked used to be the worst, dude. It was, it was the worst. The worst with voice chat. At one point, I just stopped using voice chat for Madden Online, though. I was just like, I'm good. Shout outs to Can um, the, um, Avis, Avisi. Uh, shout outs, man. Thank you so much for the uh, subscription. I do appreciate that. I think I've ranted all online enough, haven't I? For me, it was um, Edge's rated R theme. Also, Buck, Buck Cherry and other anthems from SmackDown versus Raw 2007 soundtrack. <laughs> I was playing COD on the 360 years ago, and I heard someone singing uh, Katy Perry. Yo, <laughs> extraterrestrial. Um, let's see here. That's HBK song gets you hyped, though. Not in crap, not, not crappy quality. Not in the crap quality. I mean, it get me hyped before. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I can tell you guys some story about the HBK song. So let me tell y'all something that happened in college. Let me tell y'all a good old college story. So in college, man, college was crazy. You know, I was rooming with a lot of people that were really cool. They were my friends, right? And in college, there was this little dude named George. A little, little Hispanic dude named George. Um, 
he was like five foot two, but we're, we're homies. Even still to this day, we keep in contact with each other, right? Um, and <laughs> this is back when we were both kind of chunky because I got kind of chunky in college before I lost some weight. Um, and uh, what we, or actually no, it was like when we were thinner. We were, were we thinner or were we chunky? Either way, one of the two, whatever. So one of the times, man, we said, yo, George, me and my friend Andre were like, we're like yo, we'll pay you, we'll pay you $100 if you... Stand out, like, stand out there in the balcony, because, like, we have these balconies, right? Like, go out there in the balcony, like, where people hella walk by, out there in your dun dun so whitey tighties, and then play the, play the Shawn Michaels uh, sexy boy music. We'll pay you $100 to do that for one hour, and it was cold outside. He's like, $100? He's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Y'all pay me, you, you'll pay me $100? You'll pay, that's his voice. He had this monotone voice. A hundred, yeah, yeah, you pay me 100 I want $100 because we're all cheap costumes. I said, yeah, man, I'll pay you 100 You know, I mean, I barely had the money, but I'll do it. And my other, my other friend said, we'll do it. So for an hour, we watched this dude play the sexy boy music. Sexy boy, him out there in his dun and and light, laid out across the balcony, shelving like this, like laid out like, like a pinup. Like this with the sexy boy music. So yeah, the sexy boy it, it, it slaps. It's a knee slap. I mean, it slaps hard, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hear it in pristine quality. I'm not trying to hear it in. I'm not trying to hear it in and and crappy over the over the speaker headset quality. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it was totally worth that fifty dollars that I paid him to do that. Cause you know what? It was so funny. It was so funny. These girls walked by. It was actually one of my friends from from my hometown, and like another one of like the um the people that work in the apartment complex and they walk by and they're like oh like they didn't know we were doing stuff like oh my gosh george like what are you doing he's just like and you know what he said he said i'm a sexy boy <laughs> we were just we were dying oh my god i've never laughed so hard in my life dude that was the funniest thing that i've ever heard him um say <laughs> it's just and we were we were bumping that. I mean, we couldn't play it too loud because it was nighttime. But we were bumping it at the appropriate. Like the, the sound was okay, so you could hear the sex. Like we had a little little boombox. We had the sexy boy theme going. It was great. It was it was funny. It was funny as hell, man. I mean, I mean, I got. I mean, I did a similar thing in college. Um, I remember. I think it was when I was graduating. So it was like 2009 or 2010. I remember my friend Andre was visiting. Uh, from because uh, like he was he was with us, but then he uh, got like, kicked out of school, and then um, so yeah, he was just visiting just 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 to visit because we were good friends. So still to this day, Andre actually you know sometimes Andre actually comes on uh, play action gaming. Um, some of you guys have seen him here, and like he has a stream too. Like uh, he also has like a Twitch stream. So some of you guys know play action gaming because he's been here. Uh, so Andre came back to visit, and um, he's like, hey OJ, he's like I'll pay you two hundred. He said he'll pay me two hundred bucks because he was saving a lot of money. Because he wasn't at Fresno State anymore. Because he went back to his hometown so he could like get way cheaper housing and all that. So he was saving a lot of money with the financial aid. He's like, he's like I'll pay you 200 bucks if you roll your boxes up like dun dun Stand on top of the balcony. Play music. He said, put on your, um, put on, what did he, he tell me? He said, put on your tune-in. Like, I have a tune-in vest, right? He said, put on your tune-in vest. Put on your headband. And wear your, like, I, I had these, like, Asuma. Some Asuma like hand like size at times like like anybody knows Asuma from Naruto. I had some like blades like that. He's like put on those blades like around your waist, and, you know, and just stand up and just kind of like just stand up out there outside. I was like, all right, I'll do that for two hundred. So he said, but for two hours, I was like, all right, a hundred dollars an hour, let's do it. So out there for two hours, I was out there looking like a complete idiot for two hundred dollars. I was like, I'll do it. I will do it for that man because Fresno State man, they had them them college. Uh, those tuition fees, bro. So I was like, this is going to go straight towards that after I graduate. <laughs> so I didn't have a job at the time. So yeah, man, we did all sorts of stupid stuff like that in college. Um, it's worse when people are singing in the mics. Yeah, man, that's the worst when people are singing in the mics, dude. That's 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 the absolute worst. Uh, Deadlock7 says, GTA chat, hilarious. People are either wannabe gangsters, laughing kids, or high. LOL, besides one ever in high, um, best one ever in COD was a guy asleep through an entire game snoring. Everyone stopped playing, LOL. Yeah, actually, that happens quite a bit. You would be surprised how many times people fall asleep while they're playing a video game. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely something that happens. Um, did I get the two? Hell, yeah, I got the $200. Yeah, Andre paid me that too. Heck, yeah, man. Yeah, I paid that 200 It was so funny. People were walking by. And you know what I did? I'm, I'm a businessman, though, man. You know what I did? I actually had a um, I had a sign and I had a little can that said needs money, graduating, need money. And people were putting in 
like quarters and nickels and dimes and 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 dollars into that so i actually made like 235 dollars for being out there because people were just putting in hella change as i was walking because they were there i was like hey guys i mean i need some you know i'm graduating so y'all can put whatever you want on there girls were walking by and laughing and everything i was like hey my i was like y'all laugh y'all laughing now but i'm gonna graduate i'm gonna i got a degree so go ahead and put that money in there you know let them know uh, did the guy did the guy get his hundred? Yeah, we gave we gave him his hundred. Yeah, the, the, the thing about college guys is that whenever we made a bet, I mean, obviously t in today's day, a lot of you kids, you guys don't honor anything. A lot of you kids have no, a lot of you kids today, you guys have no honor. Your word means nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like with a lot of you kiddos out there, a lot of you youngsters, you guys say all sorts of stuff over the internet. Y'all don't mean none of it. Um, but back in the day, <laughs> when you said something, when your word, when it was your word, it was your word. Um, so yeah, there's all sorts of deals that went down. There was hundred dollar deals. There was PS3 deals. I mean, there was all sorts of stuff that we made bets, football bets. Oh, this team's going to win. This team's going to lose, blah, blah, blah. We made all sorts of stuff throughout college and we always paid it no matter what we always paid it. Oh, you got to buy me a video game that I want. Whatever the case is, we always honored what we said. We always honored it. And if somebody didn't want to honor it, we like we put pressure on it. Like, hey, man, no, no, you said this. You better honor it, bro. Or like, we're going to treat you like trash. Like, so we made sure that everybody honors what they say. If you make a bet and you shake on it, when you shake on it, it's solid. You can't go back. You can't go back. That's why we always say like, hey, did you see that shake? Did you see it? Everybody comes out when there's a bet. We make sure that everybody sees it and you shake on it. You know, like you shake and you look each other in the eye, you know, and you shake on it and you have a witness just to make sure. So that's what we always did in college, man. Let's see here, man. Uh, the way tuition and student loans um, are these days, uh, you do what you do to get by. Yeah, man. That's what I did, bro. And that's what I did. Um and and just like me, degrees from college got no got no use. It's a waste. Well, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to be like an electrical engineer, well, you might need a degree for that. If you want to try to be a doctor, well, you're gonna need a degree for that. You know, um, <laughs> if you're gonna be like a, a you know like a dentist or whatever, if, there's certain jobs where you where you need to have your degree. You know, um, and then there's certain jobs where you or there's certain degrees that where you don't need to, or there's certain jobs where you don't necessarily need a degree. You can get in and get by or whatever the case is but i mean it is it, it varies it varies from uh from time to time place to place or whatever the case is you know um so yeah uh i'm a sexy boy <laughs> yeah b-o-i that's how you spell it my man that's how you spell it uh um matthew campus says you think we'll ever get a Catherine full body on the switch uh maybe maybe i'm not really sure though i think it could it could happen Put your dollars in your pockets, pretty much. I didn't have any pockets, though. I just had, I was wearing, like, some rolled-up dun-dun-duns. So there was no pockets to put in. Oh, actually, there was my pockets on my shoe to invest. But I needed, the, the, the tin was right there. So, yeah, put, put your quarters in your, in your tins. Um, so, yeah. You guys got questions? I got answers. I'll answer questions for about 10 minutes or so. Then we're going to stream a mystery game. So you guys want to know what the mystery game is? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this mystery game? Yo, what's up, Avadon? How are you doing today, my man? Um, Y'all ready for this mystery game? Press 1 in the chat if you're ready to reveal this mystery game. What is it? Yes. Y'all ready to hear about this mystery game? 1. One. 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 Why does it hide it when why does it hide it when people put 1? Why do they think 1 is spam? One 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 one. Finally able to eat stew over rice. Mmm, sounds good. Uh, kill lock cop. Kill lock kill in Persona Five. Um, I'm keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> uh, a guy's uh, a guy's word is a bond, or at least it was. Now people's are like, oh, I didn't mean it. Yeah, exactly. That's not what I meant, and was um uh, that that's not what I was getting at. Yeah, exactly. Kids today, man. All right, so the mystery game. Hold up. So, I did buy Far Cry New Dawn today. So, behind, behind this, there's a Switch game. But does anybody know what this Switch game is? Behind this, there's a Switch game. Yo, what's up, Weeam? How did you see it? Oh, you guys saw it. Because <laughs> you guys saw the top of it. You guys saw the top of it. <laughs> yeah, it's Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Heroes, Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. So we'll be streaming. 
We'll be streaming that. Damn, you guys are good, man. The orange, you got it. Uh, <laughs> you guys are quick at that. Yeah, Super Dragon Ball Hero. So, yeah, we'll be streaming that in just a bit. We'll be streaming that in just a bit. So, I have no idea what to expect kind of with this game. I know it's a card game, but I mean, we'll see how it plays and everything. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be streaming that. Um, so, make sure you guys... I am going to put down the stream for just a little bit, and then we'll come right back. So, if you guys want to watch, you guys can stay, stick around. If you guys don't want to watch, that's cool. But I will be um, just going so just so we can split it up, so it's not all one big old huge long like four hour stream with all this stuff like with this and also with you know with that. So we will be doing that. Um, what's so good about that game anyway? Well, I don't know if there's. I mean, there's a lot of cars. There's a lot of content in the game, so there's just like a lot of options for that. But I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna about, I'm about to find out if it's good or not. So yeah. Um, I mean, if you get bored playing a, of that, um, there's Dragon Quest Rivals on the Switch. I can't understand it though. That's the problem. I need to be able to understand it um i told myself that i'm never gonna try again like japanese games like japanese rpgs or japanese card games or i'm never gonna do it again like i tried that with xenoblade chronicles x see that wii u behind there guys that you guys see right over there that's a japanese wii u just so i can play xenoblade chronicles x early and that was a bad that was a mistake i got stuck and i needed somebody else to help me and i'm just i'm like i'm good i'm good like i'm never gonna do this again like nintendo make games region free or you know, localized at the same time, but yeah, I was so hyped for Xenoblade Chronicles X, I actually bought another Wii U for it, you know, um, uh, I don't know what that game is, but, um, maybe I'll check it out at one of these days, Tiny, Tiny Human Herder, yo, what's up, Red Enigma, uh, don't get me started on Madden voice chat, yeah, man, yeah, man, uh, can I make a suggestion on how you play in the chat, make a suggestion of how to play in the chat, uh, no, don't backseat game, um just don't worry about it just come out if you want to come watch the stream come watch the stream but i don't need like suggestions on how to play no 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 no. don't don't delete his comment don't delete his comment but no uh no i i, I mean if i ask for help then i okay then yeah answer it but no i'm not looking for any suggestions i want to i mean if you guys want i mean i can just play the, i can just play the game by myself because that's what i do with like that's what i do with smash a lot of the times and like i'll just might just start doing like when i play against you guys that's fine but like Backseat gaming has, like, gotten pretty bad. Like, it's gotten actually really... Re it's actually getting worse. That's the thing. Streaming is getting more popular, but backseat gaming is getting worse and worse. Like, I was watching Leffen's stream. Leffen is a professional Smash Brothers player, right? I'm, I'm watching this stream, and people are backseating freaking Leffen. It's like, wait a minute. You're backseating freaking Leffen, you know? Like, Leffen, you're backseating. And he got so salty. Oh, my gosh. He was playing Sekiro, and, like, he got so salty. It's like, if there's any mods here, just go ahead and ban these mods. It's like, oh my god, like, freaking backseater. Freaking little beep, beep, beep. Like, oh god, I'm so tired of you guys. Like, oh gosh, you guys are so stupid. Like, oh, ugh. I was watching Left and Stream, I was dying laughing. It had me dying laughing just going off on these people. <laughs> it was great. It was so good. But I can't stand backseat. Even when I'm, I can't stand backseat game. I'm just like, yo, let the streamer play, like, you can say things, and, like, you can say, oh, yeah, blah, 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 like, you can say, but Jesus Christ, let the dude play, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm trying to sit here and try to, like, just let him play, if, if he if he needs help, he'll ask, if he doesn't need help, then he doesn't need help, you know, um, let's see here, yeah, I, would, um, I wouldn't, that bothers me when people do that to streamers, yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, do you think Fatal Frame will make it to Switch, sure, Sub-Zero, why not? The Lux 7 says, the Mega Drive collection I got the other day is cool, so many cool RPGs on it, the Mega Drive collection, oh, okay, Nice, nice. Um, all right, guys. So I guess, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap that up here. Uh, let's get ready for the Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission stream. Oh, I need to open it up. It's nice to have another physical cartridge. Oh, this is ugly as hell. Like, this thing at the bottom here, this is so... This is... It just almost ruins the box art, dude. What you need all that? What you need all that stuff in the front for? All these different languages on here and stuff, man. Jesus, dude. Anyway, you could have just put that on the back. You need to have that on the front um either way there's online play in this too so we might check that out at some point open the trading cards oj all right um all right i'll open the trading cards too um wait do i need to open the trade do you use the trading cards in the like no they're physical trading cards trading cards right so you don't scan them into the game or anything like that do you i don't think so all right uh that's a good left impression that's actually a horrible left impression <laughs> I don't think my left impression was very good, but thank you, VM. I appreciate that. <laughs> but Leffen actually goes off. I mean, Leffen, I don't think he even likes his chat. I don't think he likes, I'm not even sure what Leffen likes, to be honest, man. <laughs> I don't think he likes anything. 
Um, I remember I was following him on Twitter. Like, dude, Leffen said, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna like, there's not enough options. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop playing. Like, I'm really thinking about not playing Ultimate anymore. And then he said the same thing about Melee. And then he said the same thing about Dragon Ball Fighters. So it's like, so what are you gonna play competitively then, Leffen? You're not gonna play Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Well, he's done playing that. You're not gonna play Melee anymore because of Hungry Box, Hungry Box, and Jigs camping and wobbling. Okay. And then now you're not gonna play Ultimate either. So then, what are you gonna play? Are you gonna, are you gonna play anything, Leffen? Um, like. <laughs> Yeah, he goes off on literally every single game. Near Automata sucks. D Kingdom Hearts 3 sucks. Sekiro sucks. Like, dude, every game is like trash. <laughs> it's great to see, though. No, it's actually great to see because the difference with Leffen doing it, Leffen usually plays these games in depth because Leffen's a very talented his hand-eye coordination is superior to pretty much everybody's, right? So he's very talented at playing games. It's not just Smash Brothers. He can play anything, you know, because he's very good because his, his hand-eye coordination is superior to most people, to pretty much everybody, right? So he's good at, he's very good at video games. It doesn't matter what game you put in front of him. He's probably going to be good at it. And um, he analyzes and goes in depth. So he doesn't just, he, he says certain things, but he explains himself. But when he explains himself, it's just funny because he's always complaining about it. So it's just, he does a good job of explaining himself. There's a lot of people that just say this game's trash just because, well, I don't like it so it's trash you know but like Leffen actually explains why but it's, it's just funny when he explains it too that's 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 just the funny thing so I'm not hating on him because when he explains it he explains it he literally tells you why he thinks it is but he always goes off on literally like every single like popular game like he'll go off on things it, it, it's great uh you guys make sure you guys follow Leffen on Twitter and follow his stream it, it's it's I, like I said I don't think he even likes the chat <laughs> like I don't think he likes anything <laughs> I don't know if he likes anything um so yeah, uh, it's the way that you rumble. That was accurate. Yeah, the rumbling of like Leffen's like rumbling is is. I think I did okay with that. But in terms of his mimicking his voice, yeah, uh, maybe Leffen sucks, not the games. No, Leffen's good. Leffen's very good at the. You mean like he sucks like his his opinion? Oh well, that's subjective. So yeah, you could be saying that people troll him all the time. But in terms of him playing games, he's actually good. Like I watched him play Sekiro. I watched him play like lots of different games like Near. He's good at all the games that he plays. It's just. It's just funny to hear him say, like, these, like you know, let him hear him complain about the game while he's playing. You know, it's just, I think it's funny. Um, let's see, he sounds like a negative douche. Uh, he, he can be, yeah. But, so, I mean, I can be a negative douche at times. Like, I think at times, I've, there's been times where I've, I've kind of went a little too far on my stream. But, I mean, it's entertaining, though. Sometimes, you, you, nobody's perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody is perfect. And I don't want streamers to be perfect. Like, I'd rather watch Left in Any Day over Ninja. I know I'm in the minority, right? again but i'm in the <laughs> i know i'm in the minority when it comes to that but all ninja does is literally play the chat's going so fast he can't interact with the chat barely at all unless he actually does it unless somebody donates something big and then he like he looks at it but he's just playing or he's just talking to his friends i mean y'all and people just donating like crazy or just subbing like crazy and people like that that's fine if you like that and he just ignores everybody pretty much that's because there's just so many people in there i'd rather take somebody who's gonna talk who's gonna at least be say stuff interact with the chat or at least somewhat do something i'll take that over professional gamers out there that are just like zombies playing the game you know i'll i'll take i'll take that over i find that more interesting but that's just me obviously i mean my favorite like i said before my favorite streamers are leffen low tier god dsp dark side like the most controversial streamers out there i like those guys because they're, they're gonna say stuff they're gonna interact they're gonna they're gonna show human weakness you know what i'm saying they're, they're gonna show it they're, they're gonna show what you're thinking they're gonna talk like that like you're going to hear things that are funny they're gonna hear them complain and whine about stuff and it's i just find it hilarious i just find it funny um let's see he goes off on a, a person who says something wrong oh more than you it's pretty funny yeah he does he does uh he does um <laughs> let's see nah senselessly hating on a game that doesn't it's not it's not it's not senselessly he explains why it's just it's just funny the way that he does it because he rambles on about it. It's just funny the way that he does, um, but he explains why he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't just say it and then just bounce you know. Um, but he explains why and he plays and beats the game. He plays it through and beats it. So you know a lot of people just play a game. They play it for fifteen minutes and say this game sucks. You know that's what a lot of people do on the internet today. So it is what it is. Um, yo, what's up, Rax? A little late to this stream. We're gonna go ahead and end it right here though um all right guys that wraps it up for this one here we'll be back very shortly we'll be back in about maybe 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes uh we'll be playing super dragon ball heroes on the nintendo switch let me go ahead and open this let me just open it up here super dragon ball heroes on the nintendo switch 
Um, Rax, I'll be I'll be right back with uh, with another stream. So don't worry, don't worry, Rax. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with another stream. We're gonna be playing this game, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Oh yeah, that that feels good to open up this uh, open up this plastic. So we'll be right back with the secret game. Oh, there's some some trading cards. Got the hero edition. What do we got here? We got the hero edition of the game. Oh, okay. So we have to redeem the hero edition. So I got I got to put in a code for the hero edition. Okay. So I'll put that code in later. And then we have a cartridge. That's cool. It's always good to have a nice physical cartridge. Nice physical cartridge, guys. Don't you guys just love physical? Yeah, put the code in the screen. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that one. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do appreciate it. And we'll see you guys back very, very soon for Super Dragon Ball Heroes. If you're not going to come back for that, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and check out the latest videos on the channel. We do have a good video. So if you're not going to follow or if you're not going to watch Super Dragon Ball Heroes, at least uh, make it out to um, or check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Um, I have a video today that I did on um, Persona and a bunch of other stuff. So at least check out the video right here. So, or at least all of you guys go go watch this video. In the meantime, you guys might hear it play in the background. So I'm gonna grab the I'm gonna grab the URL. So, you guys go watch this video in the meantime while I while I get the stream set up. So, you guys all go watch that video that I just linked. Okay, go watch that video, and I'll see you guys back very soon for uh, for um, for Super Dragon Ball Heroes. All right, guys, hold up, hold up. Are your ears pierced? They are. I got shitting on earrings. That one. Shitting on earring and that one. So yeah, they, they are they are pierced. Alright guys. See you guys later. See you guys later for the next stream. Peace.